on the shoot, baby. I don't think that was planned. <laughs> Can't even find the game. Jordan, mate. <laughs> Why is my stream not playing anything? There it is. Well, this is the first game of the season, and they will want to get off on the right foot. They're starting off at the bottom. Let's see what they can do. Bam Villa. United's lineup is this. Joe Hart starts in goal. Javier Hernandez is the main striker today. The Aston Villa team for this game. James Chester plays with John Terry as the centre backs, and today it's just the one striker in the side. I have a day off. Got his shot off now. Yeah, how do you get away with that? Goalkeeper at full stretch. Lucky. Oh. Come nice, we're ready to get started. Lanzini. Oh, yeah. oh that's a good second. He's the one we're focusing on. Slip through. Needs to stay cool now. Here's Josh Onama. The shot's off. Got in the way. Through. Brilliant pass. Can he finish it? He's aimed for the far post here. He saw the look from the other player and saw no. the pass was going. Might be mine. Hold on. No, mine's off. Oh, I've just turned mine off. <laughs> <laughs> Technical issues. Fuck. It won't turn back on. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'll cover back. Yeah, just try and guide me. Read the direction of the throw. Oh shit! Oh yeah! Sorry, mate. Back. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. He's cut that out well. Well read. Top blocking. Well, then it goes. There's still danger here after this. It's a save with a degree of comfort, Alan. Yeah, that was never going to finish up a goal. Mm -hmm. Oh, can you invite Nigel? Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. I don't know. Played forward, a bit of menace in this attack. And now the shot! Great forward save for Joe Hart. Oh, what was it? Paul was that? Sorry. Mario. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. Easy work for the keeper here. Hold on, Nigel, I don't invite you. Probing the pass. Oh, you sweaty. Sweaty. Hello, he's here. Right, we're here. Let's send that co invite and we'll get it rolling. You got the ball. Pass. Just pass. Right. I didn't get an invite. Yeah. I've only just sent out the co one. Are we broadcasting already? Yeah. Good yeah. Oh. oh, good. Oh, yeah, I think we're ready we are. to go. We'll have to cut out three minutes. Hello. Hey. Whenever you're ready, Nigel, get it started. I wanna shoot, baby. I um I can't post him yet because I'm still waiting, but I will shortly. Um, 
what we're doing? We're going straight in, or we're introducing, or what? We've really got to learn Ooh. to get this bit right. <laughs> we're going That's straight in. Juice. That was your introduction. That was it. I'm Germinator. Yeah. I, I'm here. Have I not put my Aldo in? Has everyone put their Aldo in for a start? I am here. Let me just make sure. Everyone yeah, else could hear me. 20 messages. You're the only one that can't hear me, Nigel. Well, I don't know where he's gone. I'm here. He's there. He's still talking. Angelo I can't hear him. Have you muted him? Check your party, see if I'm connected. Oh, that's when I was testing the party. Sorry, hello. Hello, you all right? <laughs> yeah, I was testing the party the other day. Right. Let's start issues. now. <laughs> I'll cut this for YouTube, right? All right. The germ hater. Sorry. By Rage Monkey. Chaz. And hello. 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 I've done some research. Listen to my paperwork. Listen. Oh, I've got some of that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm not yeah. kidding you. He Google. has a notebook. <laughs> a notebook and a pen. Don't forget a pen. He's got a notebook. Oh, and a pen. <laughs> but yeah, you can't do anything without a pen. Can I, before we get into the football, um, did you hear the news? No. I, uh, no, I don't watch it. It's depressing. I, I very almost got myself my first mixer warning. Oh, did you? Why? Yeah, called someone out on their stream for their follow to follow. Yes. Oh, right. right. And some someone done a whole. My uncle works for mixer, and sent me the screenshot, and said I'm going to report you and all this. And said I tell you what, I report myself and you and your mate because they kept jumping in my stream and giving me crap. Yeah. And it was just Gigi going. I'm massive on Mixer and all this. He had like 2,000 followers. I said, yeah, but without all them followers, you're fake and you've just proved it on your own stream, mate. <laughs> anyway, I was like, you know when you think you absolute moron? Yeah. <laughs> and then someone yeah, went to me, you two should co-stream, think of the views you'd get. Now nah, you're yeah. right, mate. <laughs> I'm not co-streaming with him. Anyway, UK Night Owl, go for it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Let's, let's, uh, so, let's get on to back the to the foosball. Hello and welcome. Michael's already done that. We've let's done that. Bit of paperwork we're welcomed. Out, welcome, Jordan. <laughs> one bit of paperwork out of the way. I'm, I'm down to <laughs> one bit of paperwork now. <laughs> <laughs> so, where are we starting? Right, we should so, be starting on Friday night. Like Mr. Germinator. You call yes. the shots, and I'll ask the questions once we get to the, my part, which is right. this one bit of paper. We're starting okay. on Friday night. Starting Friday night. What happened Friday night? Greatest team in the world was on. The mic, really? No, Arsenal played uh, Sunday. <laughs> yeah, Man United two, Leicester one. That's where we're starting. Well, yeah, talk about Leicester. Man United Leicester. It was the opening game. First things first, was it a penalty? Did anybody watch it? I, I've got to confess, I didn't. Right, this is a good start. <laughs> yeah. Anyone? Anyone at all? <laughs> I, I, I don't watch Man United. <laughs> well, I don't watch a lot of teams. But we've got to start watching time. everyone. This is the idea. If we're going to do this, we're going to have to watch every game. Oh, Even if it's just like next case, day. We need to get the viewers. Right, someone's. I'm echoing. I can't talk. I can't. Who can hear you? Who can you be echoing of? No, but I can hear myself. We'll talk. You got your telly turned up? Not me. My telly's got the volume down. Don't show anyone Hello? echoing. No, I'm down. No, my, my, my telly's muted. <coughs> Well, I can check in a second. Well, anyway, so no one watched the game. Yeah. Just me. I did watch the highlights, Hello? but I can't really remember. Right, so we'll start off. De Gea? You just didn't watch it, so I'll explain what's here. De Gea was back to his best. There's a bit of a dodgy hey, call for a penalty. Which is a bit of a handball. Uh, Fred gave Pogba new life in the midfield. He's Fred. 
Man United parked the bus then it's after about 70 minutes. Luke Shaw oh, come back into the team and scored a goal after all the criticism. Now I remember. Yeah, now I remember. Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw was shit hot. Yeah, really. You know you're in trouble when you're having a talk about Luke Shaw. He was so good. Considering he broke his leg like, a few years ago. <laughs> I got to say, I don't have Sky Talks, and we've not had enough donations for me to pay for it. <laughs> Leicester played well, right? That's that's about them. I'm short of it. United won two one. There's a dodgy penalty claim. Man United parked the bus, but we still won two one. Oh, here we go. I can read about the game. I expect it to take I mean, more than a minute, but if you still watch it, we just have to move on. No, but I mean, I'm still confused by the title change and everything. All my information that I've looked up is the hundred million pound, and nothing says fifty. Well, is any player worth any price tag? Is basically, the question. Oh, I'm lost him. Well, the other day, yeah, I still got my eyes in the green. Twenty-five million pound and players weren't worth twenty-five million. Full stop. So I thought you would have come prepared. I did for 100 million, but I've got, I can Ooh. go to the well, it's all right, I've got a big well. Right, should we move on to game two? <laughs> uh, um, no, let's go back to Man United, right. Yeah. Well, we can't because no one watched it, Frick. so I'm supposed to talk about it. I watched all the highlights. I don't know. Right, go on and you talk. In the highlights, you're the best. <laughs> <laughs> so, your, your best signing, which is probably the only one you've really done, is Fred. Yep. And he didn't look... I don't know whether that's he's not in, been in the Premiership and he's not up to pace, but he just didn't look that good. He really didn't. Oh. He had a 90 plus, I can't remember what it was, 94% I think it was, was his pass rate. That's not bad, mate. For yeah. Anybody. Yeah, but for a, a, a Premiership debut, never playing in the Premiership, yeah. you can't really ask for more, can you? No, he done, he done well. He done his job. He was put on there to sit behind Pogba and feed Pogba. That's what he did. <laughs> You're saying you haven't you seen You know it was a bit lucky. You know it was a bit lucky when the How gets a rating of an 8 on Sky Sports. Because you know he was, he was like... He was back on form, mate. <laughs> yeah. That's because he parked the bus as well, right? Remember, Man United like to park the bus now. We didn't get How a did new... fit this bus? We didn't get a new flat tyre, which was a bit disappointed about. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I, I just think I just think Leicester could have come away with a point. Yeah, easily could have come away with a point, but they didn't. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you've got a striker that started, did you? Rashford. Yeah, we started Rashford. You like Lukaku on the bench, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Because the World Cup. Is that because of the World Cup, do you reckon? Yeah, yeah, it was. All squads were can missing I, some players because uh, they all woke up. I'll have a post-stream invite when you, if you can send another one. Yeah, I'll send one now. Oh, give you some. So we feel right. like we so covered Their Man business, United, yeah. so... Man United, yeah. Yes. So their business was Fred, and he, you reckon he looked okay? Yeah. His past, yeah. But yeah. did it, yeah, okay. And then yeah. Leicester's business, which was... Not really any, was it? Madison. When did, who signed it Madison? In? Yeah, Madison. They were the two players on show. Madison. And he looked quite good. So, and did I can't remember what we what said they'd done. Uh, no. I don't know. Not, not really. I wouldn't say done any... Oh, lucky as a top ball. I thought I had that in there then. So we're we'll to move on from United, are we? We're going to close that one there. Yeah, I'm fairly worried. Yeah, the chat happens. wants to talk so... about it and knows a bit more. We'll have a talk. Good goal. Oh! Right, so we'll go on to Saturday. We'll save Sunday for last because that's going to be the best day. Tottenham Newcastle. <laughs> Did anybody watch Tot it? Tottenham Newcastle. Oh, I've seen the highlights. I watched it yesterday too. What's that, mate? 
I watched Match of the Day too, so. Oh, what? So that's no. <laughs> not lads. You've only got Sunday. I, did, I didn't watch the whole game. I'm not watching every game. I watched right. the highlights. I watched. I watched. Is... I watched the first half of the Tottenham Newcastle game, which was the better half. Yeah, well, Tottenham's point of view. Um, Newcastle performed well. So. I did, yeah, Newcastle were unlucky. Yeah, very unlucky. Both? Did you not think both teams were really bad at the back? Um, like balls were just getting floated I, in left, right, and centre, and they couldn't deal with any of them. That's yeah. Cool. I think it's more just first day, first <laughs> first day nerves, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Harry Kane was a bit non-existent <clears throat> again, like he does in August. Don't turn up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, he um... down to the World Cup. Being as there was no signings from Tottenham, do you yeah. not think it was more a bit of tiredness and exhaustion than it was anything else? Who you, you got? For... I don't know. I think anything that Tonga. goes wrong, everyone's going to blame the World Cup. We're not blaming the World Cup. We're saying players are missing. Cause a lot of Dyer. England went quite far, so that, that changes the yeah. normal alley. And the dynamic of it all. Okay. Yeah. They was all, all, all of them had really good World oh! Cups. That's a hat well, for me, isn't it? Fucking <laughs> alley. Yeah. But, so, yeah, I can see Tottenham being... Anyone see the Kennedy chance at 2-1? Um, I did, and... Do you think he should have done better? Oh, uh, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, should have finished He should have... Yeah. yeah now, whether that's... Because he didn't have a lot of games for Chelsea, did he? He's on loan. Was no. he on loan or did they yeah, buy him? That's his second loan spell. Yeah, he's on loan, Newcastle, isn't, he? wasn't it? He was there last year. Yeah. Yeah. He's played. Oh, dear. Yeah, uh, well, I, I, yeah so but good. I just think he should have finished. He should have. He should have just buried it. But he didn't. Yeah, I think Ali was a different player from the World Cup. He seems a lot better suited when he's back at Tottenham. It's because in the World Cup he was playing out on the left, wasn't he? Or was it left? Uh, well, he did start. He'd have been Tottenham playing behind well. Kane where he plays for Tottenham. They started on the left. What? To, uh, did he? Yeah. yeah. Jim's in. Gonna, well, if Jim. people. Were, if they're going to claim that they're world stars, they should be able to perform wherever, whatever. Yeah. Mm. I think Newcastle should have got more from the game. That's my opinion. Yeah, I reckon it. it could have been a draw as well, quite easily. Quite easily. Anyone else has anything to say? Well done, Jim. You're, you should have come in, mate. You've got more than... You would, yeah, no, just... cut out now and again. FIFA's fucking taking it away. Yeah, my stream's still not ready, so I'm going to, I'm just talking. It's, it's hard to judge how teams are going to play for the rest of the season, though, based on this weekend. Yeah. But... Because you've always got them, that, like, that first weekend nerves. No one wants a loss. Sounds like he's putting a safe space in for the West Ham game. Hey, hey, <laughs> this is, we're on Saturday, leave it out, yeah? <laughs> Not there yet. Psyching <laughs> myself up for that one. Could be dangerous. So are we done with Tottenham? <laughs> I Do you think there yeah, I've always been really that really I think, I'm just... Do you not think I still don't agree with whole whole world, the World Cup comments about they're tired because of this, because of that. If they're world-class players, well, they, they should be, be ready for this shit. The amount of money they get paid, which we're back to later. Yeah, it's... Well, it wasn't just about the quality of header. That was good enough, but... The they failed there, no, no one. Well, I think yeah, it they should a big be. difference, but... Yeah. But you, you can't... Fatigue's Play the amount it. of games that they do. Yeah. And just and keep that same intensity every we're game. Arsenal not missing players due to the World Cup. We we're to coming to them on Sunday. We, we're coming to that on Sunday. We're on Saturday. 
No, but what I mean is, regardless question. of re regardless <laughs> of missing players or not, <laughs> these players in the Premier League are paid that money for a reason because they're that calibre of player. Yeah, but not when they're coming from so the yeah, why should Why should a, a World Cup of a few games a few weeks ago <laughs> make any difference to how they perform now? You don't go to work on the Thursday and they say, oh, you can be crap today because you worked Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We'll be talking about that soon, Jimmy, about the money-wise. Yeah, I'm just so saying, like, it's, they play that calibre of football. They've had a few weeks rest. If they've partied or whatever, that's down to them. They get paid a lot of money to do that job. They should yeah, do but, you know, talking from a football point of view, you're playing 50 games Here's a, a year, football point of view. and then you go in to play the World Cup, which is another seven games, and now you've got to go play another 50 games. It's going to tire you out a little bit. Yeah. I was going to struggle with one game. But then they had a three-week break. <laughs> what, did they, what did they do? I'd, I'd struggle walking out. They weren't, involved in, they weren't involved in any of the friendlies. What, what did they do? Some of them went straight back in. You look at Sterling, yeah. went straight Sports. back into the City squad. Yeah, but he didn't do anything in the World Cup. Bad players. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, we're moving on to Palace and Fulham. Palace? I like Palace. Game? Two Not nil Palace. Bournemouth, Cardiff. Okay. Uh... We got the fixture right yet? Yep. Yeah, it's yeah, Fulham yeah. and Palace. Fulham Two nil Palace. Palace. Two nil Palace. Zaha looks good again. I oh, mate. Yeah. They were. Yeah, I think he's. Hot. Yeah, I think he's really good, and I, I just, I just think he's at the right Thank club. For the host he's too. getting the opportunities that he needs. And whoever you're following, mate, I think it's Charlie. I. I thought Fulham looked really good. I thought Fulham were a better team. Yeah. Well, I think, I think they were Mitrovic good. up front looked deadly. Yeah, it's not enough might be just, yeah, maybe a little bit of first game in the Premiership for a long while. How long have they been out of the Premiership for? Five, five seasons now. This is yeah. about the isn't it? So might have been a bit excited and not not concentrating as much. So yeah, they did look good. I think they'd do better on Palace this year. You reckon? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I, I think they've got a better. I think Palace have probably Shit. got a bit of a oh. better striker. Kind of Two better yeah. strikers probably with Benteke <clears> and <throat> Zaha. Yeah, you heard it here first. But them, he still plays, does he? Palace. We'll have a, we'll have a go. The only difference was that Fulham didn't create enough. Palace created more. Yeah, they were yeah. better in the final. Third, yeah, but, but I think over but the game, I think Fulham when Palace better. get. I think when Palace get KA in, it's going to have a, it's going to have a fresh perspective. He's going to be good for him. Definitely. Ooh. I'm sure, he played, didn't he? Fulham I think. Did he not? He mm -hmm. wasn't. A, didn't didn't play the whole game. No, he no, he didn't nice. even come off. He was on the bench. How was he? Mhm. Mm Oh, uh, my fault. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Well, I think, well, I think he came on in like the last whatever. You said he didn't even get on, mate. You mind ruining my stats? Well, here, mate. Was, I think it was the last <laughs> like last couple of minutes, but <laughs> didn't really touch the ball or anything. Didn't have an influence. Ah, <sighs> oh, was a bad ball. How'd you host? Uh, on your phone, there should be three buttons at the top, and you can host that way. Oof. Skip to one. next game. Oh, yeah. well, is oh, there a button you, to do that? It's on the move all the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. we can skip. If we'll no one's going to be way. on Palace and that, we can skip them. <laughs> I take that as a yes. All right, Everton Wolves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. I don't know how Wolves got on, and I wanted to. I wanted to see that game. I bloody missed it. It was two all. And there's two people to look about. Uh, well, they look quite good. Can you hear me? Really. Everton did have 10 men, though. Oh, what? Jaggy Elka got oh, sent off. What happens? One of them tired. 
<laughs> yeah, we can hear you, Cole. Does yeah, anybody all right. Think okay. Sorry, we're controlling the center. Jackie Elka, Jackie Elka didn't deserve a red. I, again, I didn't see uh, it. I think I'd take it. I no think one's seen it. Bit... <laughs> I, I forgot match that. of the day was on, to be fair with you. Would he have been like a kind of service? We need a WhatsApp group for this. <laughs> I don't think he would have been. I really don't think he would have had control of that ball by the time he got past him. No. I don't know what BBL means. Was he, was he, was he the last man? Though? 30, mate. BBL, be back later. Right. Thank you. Or big busty lady. You know, and text like a girl, mate. you got to let me know what they mean first. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jackie Elka, was he the last man or was it just a bad challenge? It was a line of four. He could have been classed as the last man. Uh, it was quite a bad time. Right. Ooh. It weren't great. Right, okay. Solomon Stone. And welcome, it was a straight mate. red. Oh, that's a pen. Oh, how have we got away with that? No. Yeah, it, uh, it was a straight red, yeah. Okay. Too quick for themselves, fell over their own feet. Yeah, he was definitely unlucky. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Could have gone either what way. do you reckon? It, was... it wasn't. It, it wasn't the greatest challenge in the world, but could have quite easily got a yellow and horrendous. Okay. Yeah, I think if We're it weren't the opening made... day, it wouldn't have been a red. You are right, Solomon. Would... <laughs> would that have made a difference to the scoreline if he was on the pitch? All right, and so. Yeah? Yeah. He got, he got, he got red, sit red carded <laughs> uh, in the 40, 41st minute. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, was he having that good a game that it would have changed it? Well, it would have had one extra man on the pitch, so. But being, yeah, being down, and, and, yeah, I think you lose any defender, it changes the game. What, did they, why didn't they bring a defender on and take off a midfielder or a striker? Doesn't change it too much. Oh, I've tried to go for the sweaty one. I knew I was off. <coughs> yeah. It does, though, because then you lose attacking force. It's, it's what you go for. Do you go... Well, they took Sigurdsson off and brought on Holdgate. So they've taken off... And how much of an impact did one Sigurdsson the, make before Oh, Sigurdsson's a quality player. Mm-hmm. That one, the question. But yeah. Uh, he said, what kind of an yeah, impact was he making? Player. He yeah, but what impact was he making it, before they swapped him? It's hard to say. Oh, there sorry. was no impact. It was nil-nil. So nothing had happened up until that point. That was the first talking yeah. point. Yeah. Well, no, they, they, they were one-nil down, weren't they, Wolves? Everton had scored had in they? the 17th minute. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, so obviously it changed the game. Yeah. I don't know, the West Ham fans, I can't agree with them. It's not bad with the West Ham fans. Shot. What's, what's the matter now? Why are we getting the blame for this? Us, I work with West Ham fans, they can't talk football. Right, there's two people we're talking about anyway. Never racist, sir, racist. Richardson. <laughs> Who? Sorry? Char Richarlison. Yeah. Scored, scored two. The one that had a £40 yeah. million pound move from Watford. Ooh, a bit too much. What, for Everton? Yeah. He scored two on his debut. Oh, did he? Yeah. Yeah, I'd... 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 And Red. What about if his name is? The what about their free is. signing? How was he? Because I mean, I don't know. You just said that's he didn't get. He didn't play because he was resting. Oh, right. he so didn't who sign did you say? Time. Sorry, Richardson, I think his name is Brazilian. Come from Watford. Oh, right. Okay. He scored. Scored two. Yeah. Yeah. Good finishes. Oh, that's a shit. Sorry, mate. Oh, I'm trying to show off. I'm, I'm relying on you lot till we get to the bit about the questions because I didn't watch match of the day. So. Oh, uh, Navas? Anyway. I forgot the I, I season both, had started. I thought 
the time for a couple of words or whatever his name is. How'd you pronounce it? Wolves. The striker. Jimenez. Jimenez. Yeah. Do you think he was quite lucky for that? That was great, Edda. And the referee has blown the signal mm. the start of the second half. Lovely finish. Marco Anatovic. Room now I wanted to talk about Navas as well. Did anybody see him? If you look at the coaching keepers ball. No. Never. <laughs> no, no, sorry. I was, I was concentrating on that cross, mate. <laughs> this is why you should leave the computer up. playing FIFA in the background. Oh, we're all right. I'm talking. It's funny, that. So the, the centre midfielder, yeah? Used to play for Porto. He's played in the Champions League. He's now playing for Wolves. Scored a goal and assisted a goal. Oh, well then surely that is a very very good debut considering the team yeah. that as well my question i was going to say does anybody think he should be playing for a bigger club um, um yeah not for but a that's goal the and thing a lot of... well he's not just done that he's done a lot he's a good player well, this could be dangerous, how old is he yeah, but it all depends he's young yeah young. but you say you say whether he should be playing for a bigger club that club yeah, might already have two players club? that are better than he is. Uh, and I mean, yeah, like when you put it into... Anyone? Any I mean, names? What, what any club suggestions? Could, what? What? I don't know. Well, I mean, yeah. Could he fit into... <laughs> Do you think he could get into oh, right. the Man City squad? I reckon he would go into the Evans side. Uh, Man City, who they got in the middle? Yeah, he'd get in there, uh -huh. easily. Easily. Think? Yeah. Well, then why did they make no attempt to sign him? Because... Uh, well, there's, there's got to be reasons behind it. People tried to sign him, and he was told he wasn't allowed to leave Porto. Right. And then, the bloke that owns Wolves is good friends with the Porto bloke, and he said, look, I'll give you this much, and you can have him back if he don't want to come, and he agreed to go. Now he plays for Wolves. Oh, well, that's a bit of a shady deal. Yeah, yeah, it's like the te it's like yes. the Tevez deal for West, a little bit like shady. West Ham and. Well, that kind of thing shouldn't be allowed. West Ham United, given the advantage. Yeah, but there's private business going on everywhere, isn't there? Yeah, and that's the kind of oh! stuff that needs stamping out. Yeah. Well, I think that is a terrible way to sign the player. Whether he's good or not. But... Yeah. Do we uh, yep. think it was a draw was fair? Or do we think any of the other teams should have had it? This is your area, Cole. This... <laughs> this, this is what I was saying about the, like, the first day nerves. Some teams are going to settle down. Some teams are going to be like up in the air half the season. So I think you've got to kind of give them a bit of slack, even the ones that have lost or whether they should have won, just for these first couple of games, just to settle Still down. Well in the bank, squad. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I'm a West Ham fan and we got <laughs> smashed. <laughs> I I would lie if I said I didn't see it coming, so, playing Liverpool. So, that, 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 that Navas, I just yeah. watched his... He was the one that failed by Jagielka. He's made yeah. a lot of it. I just watched... Oh, sorry, I was watching something. And um, he made a lot of it. So I reckon fruit. that was a lot to get him the red card. If that was any other game... I think That's what I'm he saying. wasn't it would last have been a man. Yellow. He wasn't last man. It should have been a yellow. There was he went for the ball and the other player got to it first. There was no malice yeah, he, in it. There was he could no studs showing or anything. His studs were up. I don't think bit. he was. Don't can't not come out anymore. You because their other centre half was running towards him. Like so, whether he would have got there. That's this. Yeah. I don't think. He but would. his free kick was sublime. And I think he's using Wolves to, uh, this season, 
he'll be at Wolves. He'll be the outstanding player, and then it's going to be a big money move for him. For someone like City or Chelsea, yeah. possibly Chelsea, um, or even Man United. What goal? Yeah, that's what I think. Thank you. There we go, Cardiff, Bournemouth. Uh, I said so, two, nil so. two nil Bournemouth. Sorry, I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm pressing buttons and everything. But I'll tell you, tell you what I picked up. Cardiff are going to really struggle because they couldn't create anything in that game. They actually struggled mm. to even move up the pitch. Bournemouth, like you, they look pretty good. Missing a few areas of the pitch. They controlled the possession. But they, yeah, but they, I think that was expected. Yeah, they struggled to create, really, considering they were playing Cardiff. They came up this year, didn't they? Oh, Cardiff? Yeah, they're yeah. going to be going straight back down. To be extreme oh, after one game. What I've, what I've watched... It looked like they were still trying to play in the Championship. Yeah. Yeah, but that's, uh, the, that's the thing. Like first day, Bournemouth, and this is what Bournemouth's second season yeah, in the Premiership now. Too much to write them off after one game. Mm, I don't, I don't know. No, I'm writing them off after one game. Cardiff again, down. Bring I, keeper I, up, bring keeper I just up. think if they right, carry nice. on, if they carry on with the way they play, so like a little bit more physical. What? They just. Seem to have a bit of not, not enough pace, if you know what I mean. Yeah, they, I think they, they just looked like they weren't areas. on the pace of what Bournemouth were, who's probably had a full pre season because not a lot of theirs have probably national duty. Sorry, Bournemouth supporters. Fuck them. <laughs> 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 but I, I just think that they, Bournemouth have. Got a, they didn't play too bad last season either, Bournemouth. No. no and they've not oh. really got rid of any, any, anyone and they've brought in yeah. a couple of players, haven't they, Bournemouth? So. I'd class that as a six pointer though. Uh, did he give a That weren't a penalty though. Uh, what one? The, the one on Wilson. Oh, right, no. There was. Uh, it it, no, it was. No. Oh, very, very soft. They were sort of like, they was running with each other and he tripped over his own feet. This is why VAR needs to be brought in. No, wait, we're talking about that later. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that. We we'll get to that. that. But, but. <laughs> but I believe I that penalty was then. saved. <laughs> so, what is that, mate? That, that, that. It was a bit of naivety by the Bournemouth player. Their pen, that penalty was actually saved. Yeah, the yeah, keeper it saved it. Yeah, he saved the penalty. So, but it shouldn't it have been a really penalty anyway. Poor penalty. It was a poorly no, taken no, penalty. Yeah. He should Thank have buried it, and he oh, didn't. He mate. side footed it. Right. I'll be back in a sec. So, oh, there we go. Cardiff again, Dan. Bournemouth might join them. I don't know. Maybe. Watford, Brighton? Um, Vieira got a double. And, oh, did anybody see his goal? Uh, I'm, I was supposed to send out a WhatsApp, but I forgot. Vieira first <laughs> goal was so good. Bit of Beckham Scalzi type corner. YouTube it now quick and we can talk about it. I'm do, I'm Who are we now. looking at? Are, are we on? Watford beat Brighton 2 0 and look at the first goal by Piera. Fire. Piera, I think his name is. And then I'll feel I'll feel the chatting on the rest of the game. Brighton didn't really create anything. Uh it was a very bad performance, Brighton wise. It didn't when I say they didn't create anything, I mean they literally created nothing. They didn't have a shot. 
didn't have oh, I don't even know. Shot. I spelled this geezer's name, so I can't find him anyway. Just put Watford first goal versus Brighton. It'll come up. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. how good was that? Pereira. Pereira. Oh. That was proper technique, that, wasn't it? Techers. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, that was really good. What training ground corner? Potential uh, goal of the season already on day one. Fucking it. On the first game? Oh. It's got potential. Yeah, Not many better. Yeah. On the volley. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. No, nah, I'll just find this stuff from 12 years ago. Oh, right. no worries. Yeah, no, it was really good. Really good. Ball came oh, yeah, sounds the, fantastic. Uh, their, their corner. <clears throat> and it was sort of like played short. The winger cr swung it in, and it's gone to the just inside the 18-yard box, and he's just met it with his right foot. And it's just top bins it. <laughs> Beautiful it was. Right in the top corner. Can we yeah, talk about Yeah, Troy really Deeney. nice goal. The man is a... How is he still playing? I don't know. But he just doesn't give up because he's got the heart of a fucking lion, and he? I couldn't believe it when he was Man United. I nearly cried. <laughs> nearly <laughs> did. So we're going to leave that one there because we've got to push on our boys. We're going to go over the hour for weekend matches. And that second goal, go on then. that was a bit of individual brilliance. Yeah, he looks really good. Yeah, well, that was a great double. Five eyes. There are five oh. eyes in individual brilliance. There you go. I've got some information for you. That's a fact. Boom. That's come all the way from Nigel Hub. Don't believe it. Look it up. <laughs> right, I'm back. Hammer Hub. Hammer right. Hub. We're going to talk what we Hammer on, Hub. What are we on about? We're going to talk... Piero's first goal against Watford for Watford. Didn't see it, no worries. Chelsea 3 0, Huddersfield. Great game. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, I do think we might have to put a bit more research into this uh, football talk thing if we're going to do on a Monday. Huddersfield had a great chance when he hit the bar against Chelsea at 1 0 down. Uh, there was a Chelsea penalty. They were unlucky. I just getting back to the Huddersfield at 1-0 down. I do think they were unlucky not to get back into the game. Yeah, yeah, I thought that as well. There you go. We had the same notes, mate. Like before, you've been, you've be, been going on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> before, before, it, before it went to 2-0, they wasn't playing bad. They could have, they could have, if they had a good finish, then I think the game would have been completely different. They had gone down. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. Also, Ross Barkley starting. Yeah, new manager, new team. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the Chelsea midfield looks yeah, solid. Ross. Yeah, Ross Barkley actually performed to what he can do, and not what he. Not he's his still not playing in, himself. Still not playing in his. I don't think he's in his best he's role. He's not in his role, really. no. But wherever he's done there, that midfield looks solid. I know it's only against Huddersfield, mm. but. They didn't really put a foot wrong. Now, I know, 3 0, and it was against Huddersfield. Yeah, that was a bit flattering, that scoreline. I think Huddersfield deserved probably a goal or two in that one. Oh, lucky goal. So, Willian again, out on the left hand side, whips in a ball. If it's just the machine, isn't it? Or is that William? Yeah. yeah. I was hoping he'd run to United. Oh, no. What's he done? Sweaty. Ah. And then, uh, and then Kante's... Yeah, it was a bit of a miskick, wasn't strike. it? Strike. It sort of just bounced on the... Sort of yeah, like... He's not a normal oh, man. Just missed it. Just lucky. Should have been one or at that point. Yeah. Yeah. The, the game where everything went right for Chelsea and nothing went right for Huddersfield. Right for. Yeah. Oh. Oh. 
I'm watching them as we talk about them. <laughs> right, so can we move on to Sunday, if everyone's happy? We have covered right. Friday and Saturday. I don't know what Sunday is. What is Sunday? <laughs> yeah, um, I've got to go. Uh, I will speak to you later. <laughs> yep, see you all next Monday. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna... going through a tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll get in this time. We're going to start with Liverpool West Ham. Here's Depay. Yeah, we're okay. Okay, if you want. Yeah. Like I said, first first game nerves and <laughs> no, West Ham. No, nah, we got completely good. out outplayed, out for yeah. Liverpool. Uh, were Liverpool were on it. And so dangerous guy. I forward. think we've all. I think we've like one of us is a, like one of the four of us has predicted that he, they're going to be top. Yeah, they were drunk when they said <laughs> it. It's all right. <laughs> are they? Okay. But uh, but we've all got them in the top three. Liverpool. Yeah, because they'll do well. But they did. And I think they're going. to... I think their midfield and their front. Two are going to be absolutely sublime this season. Are you pausing in between words to add like dramatic effect? I, I, I don't fucking like saying it because it was against West Ham. So, um... <laughs> and there, middle. And there. So that's the uh, forward. <laughs> that's all the positives out of the way. Nearly all the positives. Yes. Fabianski looked really good in goal. Oh, it's a sad sight. Yeah, it when should have been. It should have been. He's the best player on your team. Yeah, I wouldn't worry. As yeah. an Arsenal fan, we used to have that all the time. Oh, we're coming to him yeah. soon. And weren't that Fabianski as well, wasn't it? <laughs> no, <laughs> that was back in the days of fucking Jens Lehmann. That long ago that was. Even David yeah. Seaman as well. I, th I thought. I thought Noble looked. He, he, he can G players Noble up. Lost. Can that. Yes. Yeah. He, he just could, he's not a there. captain. I don't think he's a captain. I don't think he can command that that squad now. There's another thing we need to talk about. <laughs> and that bitch is definitely not a striker. No, he's not a striker. Right. I know he's not a striker. And that gets me to the other point. But he's the best. But he still, he still had who chances. Who else are you going to play? Who else are we going to? Yeah, and the, he, and that's what I'm talking about. Liverpool's, the... Liverpool's uh, faults is that one man yeah. still had chances against a back four. Yeah, Liverpool are going to concede goals this season, without doubt. They are because I think they're quite weak at the back. Yeah, they had a really good going forward. They're, their back four are not great. They've got probably one really good defender, which was the. Uh, you said Dyke. his name earlier, Mike. Yeah, Van Van Dyke or something. Van Dyke, yeah, bro. Just Dyke will do. Dyke, Diesel. <laughs> well, space to get the cross in. And yeah, I think. I just... And their goalkeeper flapped a few times. Whether that yeah. was nerves, because it was his debut, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so whether that was a bit of nerves, I don't know. But he flapped a couple of times. Nearly put it on a plate for us. Um, I think Anderson showed bits that he could do <laughs> if he picks the pace up at the Premiership. Yeah, but the I thing is, there was, really there, was, there was no communication. No, between that back four, like no. nine players watched that second goal go in, just standing there watching. Ooh. Yeah, well, Michael, Actually, you, you can't defend. I, 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 thank him for I, I said you earlier can't... that Balbuena. I seem to think, oh, I've got this, and then sort of, it was in the back of the Welcome net. Carl Michael. I don't think he's up to the pace of the Premiership. He's come from Brazil, which is a Brazilian, like the Brazilian the, league. <laughs> the problem is, the problem is, he was our best defender. <laughs> There's loads of Brazilians that play in the Spanish league and the Italian league and stuff. You, I know what you're laughing at. You, Dude, He's come from Brazil, which is Brazilian. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm fucking glad you're here. <laughs> no, he's actually come from the Brazilian league. 
He's not a Brazilian that's played in Europe. Or if you call like it, <laughs> Carl Michael, if you're still about. Oh, fuck's sake. Uh, we're talking Liverpool West Ham. Um, I think Rice was a little bit out of position, looked a bit naive where he was. Um, and I think he struggled. Last season, he was really good as part of the back three. Yeah. Um, and I think he was one of our best players last season. Yeah, I think the biggest problem was you just didn't have a midfield. No. And then, but once he took off, was it Anderson? Who did he bring on for Anderson? Yarmolenko? Yeah. No, he, no it was uh, on for Anderson. It was, he? wasn't it? I can't remember who huh? came on through. Fernandez. He put Snodgrass. He put. For an he reach. put. But, Snodgrass, Yarmolenko, and and an out, uh, and, and, uh, come on, yeah. Snodgrass. <laughs> so Fuck even though you lost four nil, there's a lot, yeah. a lot of positives there. Yeah, yeah I think so. Really? I think so. <laughs> we had chances. So, yeah. Fabianski is going to pick um, a lot of points where you're going to yeah. pick him up last season. Yeah. Well, Alboin is going to pick up the pace quite quick. Mm. I think he will. So a couple of times he made some really good challenges. He can he can pass the football. We looked like we was actually passing the ball rather than last season smashing it out. There was a yeah. bit of panic last season. This season there weren't so much panic. And Jack Wilshere, I believe in the whole game didn't make one backwards pass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You must, so, have fucking, you must have been wiping your eyes or blinking or no, something. No, no, no. I watched the whole game, mate. I watched the whole game. Uh, and he no. looked better when he came back next to Noble. He seemed to spread the ball out to the left and to the right. And we created a couple of extra chances when he was back behind, with Noble. Yeah, it looks better. It's, it's all right, honestly. You boys, yeah, you definitely. can all love Jack Quill shit as much as you need to because you all hated him a few years, a couple of years ago when he was an Who Arsenal did? player. I didn't have an opinion on him. Why did you make up these <laughs> fans? We all hated him, Jack. Make up these Everyone. opinions. But we all hated Wenger. It was only Arsenal fans that wanted Wenger out. I think his out. touch is really good. We didn't give a shit. We were quite happy with Wenger running Arsenal. <laughs> yeah. We didn't give a shit whether Jack Wilshere got injured every week because the more he played, the more injured he got, the better it was for us. <laughs> yeah. But now, I don't want to That's what I mean. Injured. Now he's going to be a star player. Well, I hope so. Gonna be like, oh, he's For my team, that's, we've that's the point. Him. That's the point of supporting oh, a club. It's, I'm not going to be exactly ooh, the Jack same. Friend. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, where Arsenal, that's, that's a bit salty, that's, that, wasn't it? That was a bit yeah. salty. That's where Arsenal ooh, fans go wrong. Friend. There's no passion. <laughs> there's just there's no effect no passion. Jack Wilson. There's How a many reason it was signs we used to take to the games that said Wenger at. They took yeah, ages to make. Chant it. We just take these signs and sit here quietly. They never First, chanted Wenger out. Arsenal fans think the world's against them when no one can give a shit. Yeah. It was it was constantly chanted. There was like there was newsletters about it. There was forum posts. Yeah, it's, but from it weren't directors. It weren't so, like there was no passion. No, yeah, do you know, know what the problem is? is? Oh, we love Jack. I'm going to tell you the problem with Ooh, Arsenal, quick. Yous are a club that are owned by a man that yous don't think you're owned by. No, we know who owns us. Right, and before he's, that, he's... you think because you hold three percent in shares that you're you can control the board. Oh, well, when have any Arsenal fan all the time I know, ever come over and said that? To <laughs> all the time, <laughs> Arsenal fans are always talking about how they're a fan-made club and how they're fan. No, we didn't. We every, don't understand that the they're fan owned by no, club see, Mike. no, this is where you've got it wrong. The thing that we say all the time. Is that we are a self-sustainable club? Well, you're not anymore. Yeah, especially with them. You're about to take out a massive loan to buy it. Yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. That loan will be paid back quicker than the fucking Emirates loan was. No, it won't. There's no other club that could have paid that back in that time. He has no intentions of paying it back. Yeah, quick. well, you don't, don't forget, that. you ain't got Wenger, who's the tightest man in football, who <laughs> won't spend any money. So it you wasn't Wenger. It, it was not Wenger. What do you mean it wasn't Wenger? The board was not was. allowed. No, it wasn't. Yeah. The board wouldn't give the money for the then. signings. So, 
Because they wanted Wenger out, so that, that so why weren't you trying to club? Why, 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 why weren't you chanting bald out? So if they wouldn't let him spend because money, surely it's the bald's fault. Look, if you stand there chanting bald out, what yeah. the hell? The that just sounds stupid. Uh, what? The fans, oh. the fans, we're are going to blame the manager. Yeah, we've million. got a better bald now than we did. Uh, don't even start look, look, look. comparing West Ham to Arsenal. Why can't can we? Compare as far got, as well. We're talking about the ball. Why can't we? Because you've got ball, one claim to fame, which you will always go back to in a minute, which will be, oh, we won the World no. Cup in '66. No, we're talking about. <laughs> oh, it will be. We've got, we've, we've got the dildo brothers, and because <laughs> the fans showed a bit of passion, yeah. they now spent you're loving it million on upgrading Jack the squad. I mean, I don't get it. There's some potential in this move. Oh shit! Yeah, we're, no, we're, we was at we're loving it. Right, thousand capacity stadium, <laughs> and they've taken us to a eighty thousand, but it's not because they've taken some of the seats away. Um, stadium, so sixty odd thousand, and they've spent a hundred and well, yeah, probably a hundred million this this season. Just over. Every and that's, single... that's fan power. It's not fan power. It is fan power. Of course it is. There was, there was How be, is that? How is everything. that an example? Because there, is an, there wasn't protest. They sat down with the actual supporters and they've actually gone out and listened to them and they've brought better players in. You can't deny that we ain't got better players than we did last season. No, you have, but it doesn't show a massive well, rise in fan power because you it signed the club for the players. It does. It was. That's just the ball shutting your play, your fans up. That's all they've done. Exactly. That's fan power. Yeah. That's not fan power. That's that's the equivalent of you turning up, them going shut up, and you going okay then, and walking off. That's right. all they did. What do we need? Do we need shut us up do by we need doing a, what we've got. Do, do we need a fan TV then? <laughs> Arsenal <laughs> fan TV is not a thing. Because we all know that works. <laughs> that's not run by an Arsenal group at all. That's run by Tottenham fans. No, what, not. the Arsenal, well, Arsenal TV? Fan is TV. Arsenal fan Arsenal fan <laughs> TV. Arsenal fan TV is run by a Tottenham fan. No, it's not. It's run by an Arsenal fan. <laughs> what, because he's told you, because he said... Oh, he's run an by fans fans for the fans. Conspiracy theories again. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not. They did a They'd fucking, a fucking video on it. Hat, so. Has it? Uh, uh, like, yeah. They did a video on it. They released well, it. There's a couple of little positives out of the... Uh, West Ham Liverpool game, and Liverpool are still going to be second. I don't think they're going to win the league. Can we move on now? Well, Thank you very much. Range, really. Yeah, we'll move to Southampton Burnley. Nil nil. Nil nil. Done. Right, next. Burnley should have won. Lovely Their chance. Yeah. They didn't finish it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. Yeah. We just left that. You lot mugging me off, and because I said they released the video, we suddenly moved past it. <laughs> Because we ain't, we ain't going to win without you throwing in a conspiracy theory. It's not a conspiracy theory, it's an actual video. <laughs> well, the people that if, run Arsenal fans... To, be honest, to be, honest, gonna, be honest, I don't know if who If that's the way these conversations are going to go each time, I ain't even going to bother joining in. You was the one that said it's even... not fan power, the fact that they've gone out and spent money when we've said facts, you need to spend money in the group. Right, there, was fact. Fact. Okay, there, the there was facts about a Liverpool West Ham game. You took it into a love hate of fucking Jack Wilshere, and then they took it into a love hate <laughs> of Wenger. Well, I had nothing to do with it. I wanted to talk about the fucking game that was played on Sunday. What game? Well, the one that got via fast because we were talking about fucking Wilshere again. <laughs> yeah, you bought it out. Like to to West Ham were the greatest players <laughs> in the world. What? We were talking about a it's game a on Sunday, wasn't it? We was talking this, about yeah, talking talk show or not? Yes. Yeah, this was the game fan fan I was talking about. We was no, talking about a game. Talking about fan power. They started talking, talking about, about fan bullshit. power. You was talking about some bold shit. I was talking about Liverpool beating West Ham four 0 and Fabianski having a good game. Yep. Uh, 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 and then, I was talking and then about someone went, "Weren't the he the best player for Arsenal?" That's how it started. Who said that? No one said <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, no one said that. Conspiracy theories again now. Yeah, no, one so, of you two I didn't said say that. that. No, no said that. The, the line was: someone said, Ast "You said Arsenal had bad times," and they I said, said "We're yeah, used to have people being the best player." 
There you go. Yeah, I, said, well, that, that comes from me. Yeah, I didn't say he was your best player. I said, well, when he uh, in goal for you then? Well, when I said about Fabianski. used to be the best player on the team, and you went, was that Fabianski? Yeah. Was that Fabianski? Right, so who brought up Fabianski then? <laughs> <laughs> I did. Oh I think my God. God. <laughs> Michael did. Michael did. We need to start. We need to start getting a fucking camera. Fabianski played it. on Sunday Jesus. against Liverpool in goal. He had a good game. That is what I said. I agree. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it could have been six 0 easily. Yeah. Yeah. But right, anyone want to add anything to the Fabianski having a good game on Sunday? Not three years no, ago. Um, not fucking 1966 when he came out of the youth no, system. No, I, 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 up on I think, he, by three I think he made a opinion. couple of really good stops. He, he was alert, considering he hadn't played a pre-season game. So it just proves that he is a good keeper. And I've, I'm, I'm glad we've got him now, because I, I thought... Um, Coming from yeah, I went to the Swansea with it. Yeah, I thought. Oh. But prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. It will prove you wrong. Yeah, I think so. I hope so because I like the look of him now. So, but first game. So. <laughs> Right, Southampton, Burnley drew 0 0. Burnley should have won the game. That's where we were. <clears throat> yeah. The yeah. I don't know. I didn't actually see them. What's everything. his name? Oh, I don't know. Joe? Ginger one, I think. said. Fuck. Quick witted and quick in his movement, too, to intercept there. I don't know. You know what we didn't discuss? Southampton looked really good with Ings, by the way. Yeah, I didn't actually see any of them highlights, so I had no idea about this game. He came on on the, the, um, like, uh, on the hour mark-ish, I think. Made them look a lot better. Um, Romeo? Midfielder for Southampton looked okay. <laughs> but other than them two, I think what Southampton fuck looked a bit. Where the fuck did that go in? <laughs> right, we've got one more looked game to cover, which is Arsenal City. Fuck you! No. You've got to cover it. Come on. First talking point should Mustafi have won the penny? What? No, hang on. There's a point before that. Right, what's that it's, point? I've said it all along. I've said it since day one. Finger in. Should have kept him. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You can't go wrong. Finger in, mate. That's what a sign should have said. <laughs> right, but anyway. <laughs> Mendy pulled down Mustafi in the box. Should it have been a penalty? Was it in the box? Yeah. And was it a foul? Yeah. It's definitely in the box, yeah. I do corner kick. I do think it should have been a penalty. Right. I think that in every game there needs to be a little bit more leniency on things that happen in the box because now it just seems to be the go-to reaction so, is to call the call the penalty so you don't think right. it was a penalty so i don't know i didn't see it but i just it, mean like the whole league in general so the definition of a penalty is a foul in the box was it a foul yes it was a foul i don't know i didn't see yeah. it well then yeah. it's a penalty oh, fucking cheers <laughs> cheers golf <laughs> that's, that's, like, <laughs> no, but I mean, no, like, there there should, is there's no some... debate there, is there? Then there shouldn't be, should there? No, but there if, should if be there's some a foul kind in of... the box, and the, the, the and the defenders fouled the attacker in the box, then it's a penalty. So what about should... when they bring in the sin bins and stuff like? I don't what think then? they're going to be bringing in sin bins. No, the sin bins. Are... They're not going to bring sin bins in. It's been spoken Stupid about idea. for a long time now. But, yeah, but we also know that VAR. So, so it's goal line team. No, that's only just coming. Oh, I, I was in full agreement so, with VAR. So they bring a sim bin Since on. It was yeah. mentioned. Yeah, yeah. And they give a penalty, right? Does someone go in the yeah, sim yeah. bin, and if they miss, they come back on. And if they score, that's the end. Well, of Well, yeah, game. that's what I mean. Like, like what happens there? 
I don't would, think if you've given the... a penalty, my opinion is, if, if you've given a penalty, the player should take it. If they score, he stays on. But if it's a red card situation, Jesus. if yeah. they miss, he goes off. Right, yeah, that's, that's a fair point. But would teams not be missing like, penalties on purpose? Gonna... More than likely, but then you've got to think of most of them would probably want that goal for the... Uh, for the overall advantage. I know they have 10 men. It depends on the time of the game, what stage they're I think at. The, I think the rules yeah. of the game at the moment are okay. I don't think they should muck about with the rules of the game. Not with stupid like sin bins and stuff. It's not... It... Yeah, I don't like the idea I know they do in rugby. Bin, but I think for a eh? penalty situation, it would be a good idea. Yeah. What, the red card? Yeah, but here? the dynamic of it... The dynamic of the game can change a lot quicker in football than it can rugby. So a sin bin works fine in rugby. Because you can have 10 minutes of just, like, not moving for 10 Being in the middle of the park, not going anywhere and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, it works in rugby. But in I football, no. Because you could go from one end to the other in 30 seconds. Less than that. Oh, yeah, exactly. Uh, Sterling as well, look really yeah, he couldn't do that for England, though, could he? Can. No, no, he can't. <laughs> did he look really good? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Better than he did for England. How many, how many did times did he it, lose bro? control of the football? Oh, I don't know, mate. Not too yeah, many. <laughs> uh, Aguero should have um, made it 2 0. Anyone see that one? Yeah. No, uh, well, I was a kid by this point. What? Oh, I, I was asleep and I, 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 I was knackered. I, I'd knackered him out at work, hadn't I? He had to do a bit of digging, didn't he? He was like, oh, oh fuck, no, I can't move my shoulders. Oh, I'm done. City looked oh. pretty comfortable, I thought. Do you reckon yeah. they're going to win yeah. the league again then from that? Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah? Can't see why not. We've got yeah. the players to win. Yeah. Uh, what about Czech's double save? Did anybody see that? And Czech's game, you know? He had a really good. good game, I thought. Czech, Czech yeah, it was every, a good game. every game Czech plays in is a really good... He's, he's just a quality yeah. goalkeeper. Nice. Would you have preferred I to see Leno? I absolutely detest Peter Czech. But, I, can you explain I why? I don't like him. Is that I just think a person? That, I think, like, personal opinion or is that as a as a goalkeeper uh, well I don't know him personally he may be a very nice fella <laughs> so, so, <laughs> <laughs> oh I don't understand how you could not like him as a goalkeeper well, because I think he's, he's he commands his bot past where he's a good he shot is. stopper he's, he comes out and collects crosses. He's got okay distribution. That's probably the only thing that really lets him down. As as, and he's a little bit old. All right, so let's let's swing this round then. If he was playing for West Ham, yeah, you'd pick him I'd over Fabianski, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For real? Yeah, yeah. An Arsenal reject. I see, I <laughs> oh I never ever would have picked him over um, Chesney. Really? If Chesney hadn't yeah. fed out with Wenger. I like Chesney. He would really. never have gone. Is that only Chesney up? leaving Arsenal was a personal debate between him and Wenger. Yeah. There's no but way. Yeah, Czech if you, but if you can't get on with the manager. Out. <clears throat> and they're not going to get rid of the manager, and you're not going to play. What's the point in staying at the club? Do you know? Do you know what they they fell out over? I I don't. They got caught smoking, smoking. In somewhere. Yeah. In the changing room, he had one cigarette. In, in the, the changing, changing room. room. So he's and they so, they dropped one of. The, he weren't the only one smoking though. Wilshere was no. having a fag, and look where he was. Uh, yeah, but he was on the physio's bench. Don't really matter. <laughs> on the physio's bench. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there were some no, positives I mean, from like, Arsenal. At the time, at the time, Chesney was one of the best keepers in the Premier League. Yeah. Like, definitely. without question. Oh, by far. And yeah. they got rid of him over a, a cigarette in the locker room. That, that to me, is not good sense. Yeah, but... Did and they brought in Czech, who, to me, was 
well over the hill and was never a good enough replacement for, che <laughs> for uh, Chesney. <laughs> In my yeah, but, own opinion, yeah, but would you have, would would you have said that if they had bought in Buffon? Who? Buffon. Juventus goalie. Um, probably one no, of the world's best think, goalkeepers. I think even though he's old, I think he is still one of the best goalkeepers there is at that time. Like I don't know what he's like now. I mean, we're talking a couple of years. No, but just chatting. To to me, oh, check just. Play. Czech lost his edge when he hurt himself, when he had that accident. Oh, he lost a he lot of never the same. didn't he? Yeah. yeah, but I think he's got that confidence so, back now. We had, uh, I don't know, he's still uh, wearing that near. stupid cap. Uh, yeah, I think we that's had... just a... That's not no, going to stop him from getting knocked out if he gets well, kicked in the head, is it? Very <laughs> no. You can see he's self-conscious when he dives. I mean, that's yeah. how it looks. Again, I don't... I have never asked him. That's just how it comes across. Well, we need you we, to. Yeah. We need you to. But as we go <laughs> into the Arsenal, as an Arsenal, this. I don't see him as a decent keeper, and I would have preferred that. Um, he's, he's a, he's, he's a decent <laughs> keeper. <coughs> he is a decent keeper. Not when you keeper. sign someone <laughs> the caliber of that Leno. I don't think. Right, anyway, we're yeah, going to move on to other positives. As well, though. That's a fact, huh? Arsenal looked really good in the second half. And uh, those will come alive a little bit. But does anybody think they're better with Lacazette and Aubameyang together rather than one of them? I don't think uh, they can think... play together. I've not seen them play no, together, I think... but I don't think they'll be out of jail. They did really well Personally, in the second half of the City game. Personally, for me, Aubameyang is better than Lacazette, and he's better as a lone striker than he is. Yeah, working. But with do you not? So, do you not think Aubameyang is better than Ramsey? <sighs> yeah, but Ramsey's not a striker, player, is he? But he's not been the same since his yeah, he's, they're playing... He got better, and then he went down, and then I don't know what happened after that. He's if just they're going to play, not the same. If they're going to play. Lacazette and Aubameyang, yeah, yeah. they're going to have to take out one of them front. So it's Ozil, Ramsey or Mkhitaryan. Take out Ozil. Yeah, that's a... yeah the other two have got pace. He Ozil, clearly he's doesn't want to be pace. Arsenal. You can see by the way he plays. I don't know, that second half, he's he I don't. Really good. I don't think it's that. He's taken a massive knock from the World Cup. His confidence has just plummeted. Yeah, but last season he was just as... Uh... Just as unconfident by the looks of it. Yeah, true. Like, again, I mean, that's just the way it comes across. Or the other one you've got is that, um, is it fucking that guy's who come from United? I can't say his name. Mkhitaryan. Mkhitaryan. Yeah. Like, that's, he's not been that great for us. I think yeah, so, more, okay. a little bit more time, it'd be really good. Yeah, I think, I, I think, yeah, I think he'll fit into Arsenal quite well. I think you should be playing both he's Lacazette back. and Aubameyang. And take out Ozil? Uh, I don't know. Ramsey, I would say. Yeah, I'll, see, I'll I, just, like I don't think Ozil at the moment is fitting. I think he needs maybe like an FA Cup run, if that, or a Europa run like early stages to get his confidence because he will get a couple of goals but that's the thing that that's about playing him as a youngster or a fringe player if you know what i mean i don't think that would build his confidence either i think it would because he'd have the rest of the team looking up to him i think i think that might be a, a factor in something that repairs his ability yeah you could be right there. That makes sense because he will be the leader. He'll be yeah. the locker room leader. He'll be the pitch. He'll have everything. He'll be the one that everyone's looking up to. And then all of a sudden, he's gone from someone who's become unconfident to someone that everyone's going to and looking up to and getting the ball yeah. to. He suddenly becomes the general. Is that what he really wants, though? That's the thing. I think he is. I think he wants to feel important, which is what everyone wants. Every male in the world suffers from alpha male syndrome 
stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looks very encouraging. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> like we all like no one likes to be oh. second best. Like we're all men. If you go into work, you don't want to be second best as anyone. Like that's just the way it is. It's, it's part of male pride. So I can't see football as being any different. And they get it away. Yeah. Yeah, been as they raised as professionals as well. I suppose there's a lot of that to play in it. Yeah, yeah. Anything that's, they, that's anything it. they do, they're going to be competitive, isn't it? Yeah, and if you've got that nature in you, you're going to do everything you can to be the winner. Well, Again, that's... that could be completely wrong, but yeah. Can we that's talk I, uh, about a Man City player? Yeah. The um, Terminator mentioned last week in Bernardo Silva. Oh, what? Right, yeah. He scored, yeah. Do you not think he was the best player on the on the pitch and, um, for Man City? Uh, no. No? No. He got man of the match. He scored. Um, yeah, he got man of the match because he got the goal. second goal. But. It's the right place, right time for the second goal. Yeah, but do you not think he played well? And played they started well. De, Bruyne, De Bruyne on the bench. Yeah, well what, 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 what was that about? Cup. Well, cup, mate. well cup. You reckon? He should have had a goal yeah. as well for Guerrero has squared him in. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was a big it's when it really. And Guerrero got a big greedy. Stones and Walker. Uh yeah, Walker looked good early on, but sort of died out because of fatigue set him. Yeah. Did Mares Stones just Yes, yeah, he did started. Did he, was he good? Yeah, he looked all right. Transfer the so, that one, I tell you. So, okay, right. Right. Are we done with all of the, uh, the games for the weekend, then? Yeah, oh. I think if everyone's happy, we've covered them enough. I think so. Uh, I, don't, yeah. I didn't see match today. I will watch it right. this week, but I need someone to, like, WhatsApp me or something to remind me yeah. of some shit. Right, what we're going to talk about quick before we go on to the question is VAR. Was you had? Yes. Uh, I it got needs to be added to the game as quick as possible. Yeah, I wasn't expecting VAR, but I do have an opinion on it. Right. We had uh, Mustafi's penalty that wasn't given. Shura's penalty that wasn't given. Uh, a penalty given to Bournemouth that weren't a penalty. Man United's penalty which was suspect. And Liverpool's, Liverpool's third. third goal was offside. Right, well, and who makes the call for the VAR to be used? It's not the every VAR goal. People. Every goal and every penalty decision is reviewed by a person in a box looking at it all. Yeah, I don't think that was a question. Yeah, that person, that's, that's bullshit. Sorry? I thought, that's, is the question ridiculous. who decides if we have VAR or who decides if it's a decision? No, who, who looks, who is the one that decides on the, de the well, decision? Because, I mean, surely... I'm watching it. Surely VAR should only exist if the referee has any doubt in the call he's about to make. Mm, no. Because no, it should be the, the referee's it should be the referee's no, decision. If they've final. missed it, they've, if they've missed it, they've missed it. So how can he make So the linesman's missed an offside decision? The referee can't the same... see if they was offside or not, because they're in the middle of the pitch. So no, VAR, I understand the, and if there's a I understand that, the offside. No, what then, I mean is Yeah. If there's a foul near a referee, yeah? Yeah. yeah. And it's, say it's in the penalty area, and the ref looks yeah. at it, and you can see he's debating himself or whatever, because we all see it on telly. Yeah. 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 It <clears> should <throat> only be reviewed if the referee goes, oh, I think I should see that again. Not other people saying mm -hmm. you should look at that. Yeah, I know what you that's mean. Surely that's surely what it is. But that's the video equivalent of all the players running up to the ref. It's not quite the same as what Cole's explained it. There's five people watching it, and they can decide whether they want the ref to take a second look and then they'll radio through and they'll say to the ref, we think you might need to look at that again. The ref still has an option there to say, no, I'm right, I don't want to look at it. He's not obliged to go look at the footage yet. He's the ref, he's the man. Yeah, he yeah, can say. He's a decision. Yeah, you can yeah, say, no, that, I've stuck with my decision. 
shouldn't that only happen if he radios them and says, um, I need like, I need assistance. Like, say he's <coughs> doubtful at all. Yeah. He should have yeah. to radio yeah. them and say, I yeah, need like some he would here. do the linesmen, like when they do now. They're like, yeah, when they used bit. to run up to the linesmen yeah. and talk to them. Yeah, like that. They shouldn't yeah. radio him. I don't agree that they should radio him. Uh, I think if he's mm. missed Saint hundred percent certain, then they should come through to him. If they're unsure, they shouldn't be coming through. Yeah, yeah so but that's, that's that's what it that's what it was though, wasn't it? In the World Cup it was yeah. a clear and decisive decision. Yes. Not no, where it might be. It wasn't though, was it? Like the hand ball that was one of them where the ball bounced up and he went to header it and it hit the other player first and then it hit his hand. He uh, brought his hand uh, down to it. No, he didn't. You're not talking about the same one, mate. <laughs> the ball we come in, yeah. The, same one. the ball come in, it was crossed in. He jumped yeah. up to header it. The other player yeah. got a touch on it and he couldn't see where the ball was. We're not talking about Croatia. That's the one you're talking right, about. Okay. I'm talking right, about a okay, random okay. game in a group stage where right, it's okay. then come off that player's head and hit his hand. He had no time to react. His hand was already in the air. He couldn't even move it. No, yeah, I agree. And then they've called the ref over. It's now come have a look because they're uncertain. They say and it should be a penalty. It's hit his hand. So the ref's come over. It took, ref took 10 looks at it. And he was like, well, better give it. I've been called over. Yeah, yeah see, that's that ridiculous. a bad indecision for the ref, though, wasn't it? That yeah, that was... They've gone, actually, it did hit his hand. Ref, come and have a look. Yeah. And he's gone, all right. I'll I feel it takes look. the power away from the ref when they ask him to come have a look. Because it, it should, the ref should still control the power. He shouldn't feel that, oh, I've been called over yeah. here, so I've got it wrong. Yeah, because yeah, he he's, like he's, he's not second rate the... person. No, because he does not have power, because then he can go. No, it's not a penalty. No, I'm still right. Yeah, yeah you're right in what you're saying. Yeah, see, now, if that was you, if you was the referee and someone radioed you and said, Think you need to come and look at this. My yeah, answer yeah. first would be, be like, yeah. "What am I looking at?" First, of yeah. All. My answer would be, "Fuck off, mate." Until I call no, you, leave me alone. Would... <laughs> my, 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 my question would be, "What am I looking at?" And if they tell me something that I've actually seen and decided that it wasn't right, I'd go, "No, I've seen that in real time. It's not a penalty." Or that's what I would do. Yeah. Are you? But if it's something that they mention, say... and I think, "Well, I haven't I... seen that," so I'm going to go and have a look. I'd say yeah, this is I've... why I'm the referee, and that's why you're just watching TV, mate. I think the pressure is different. When a ref's called over, he's automatically being told, right, I'm being called over because it's wrong. I've got it wrong. That's why they're calling no, me over. No, no, no. So now I'm heading down no, like a tunnel to... with the whole world watching me, and now I've got to look at this screen. Yeah, spot where I've and you're wrong. automatically pissed off as well. So you automatically think you're in the wrong. You're automatically running over, and you think, I haven't given this. Now I've got to give it, because that's what obviously I've done wrong. So now I'm giving this. See, this is this is this is where my opinion like differs because I'm a big rugby fan as well, and like the video refereeing has been in it for fucking donkeys, and it has made such a difference to the game. Yeah, but even in rugby, right? So you take rugby, but the ref doesn't go look at the telly. He takes the advice of the man watching the telly, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah he doesn't go yeah, look at it. But they, have, but they have, they have the. They have the video up on the big screen in the stadium. And the ref's yeah. the one that calls it. The ref's the one that calls the yeah. VAR check. Yeah, yeah, but he, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah not the always. He doesn't have to not run always. over and go down a tunnel and have a look at something. Oh, no. In no. football, it's a big show to say you're fucking wrong, mate, basically. Yeah, that's what We I think, think you're wrong. Makes... But football like a is a big show. That's the thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but if you've got... If they're going the to do show that, the they need, they, they need then to there should be an automated referee. The referee should have final say. That's what they need to yeah, say to them. I mean. Whether they you've been brought over or not, referee. if you still deem that you was in the right, do not change your mind. Uh, they shouldn't, I just don't think to avoid all that, they should, shouldn't be able to call him over unless he asks them for their opinion. <laughs> yeah, but he might miss something. Which is what VAR is. But then that's football. That's, the game's been the beautiful no. game for years. Then don't bring in VAR. Anything. Exactly, that's what I think. I think don't bring it in. No, if it ain't broke, don't it. fucking fix it. Yeah, but then it you got then you got to take away goal line. It is broke. <laughs> no, You've what the ball only line went over half the line because that linesman said, "Fuck it." That's the linesman's job. That's what they're getting paid for. Let them do it. Yeah, and they make it. All, they make decisions. They, their decisions yeah, and half are wrong. fucking blind. <laughs> so I, I, there is anyway, no one that hates think... officials more than Arsenal fans, and I still say <laughs> let them make the decisions. That's the call anyway. A vote on whether we should have VAR or not. I think we should have VAR. Nigel? Uh, so no. do I. Charlie's the, yeah. I think only if they change the way it's done, but at the moment, the way it is, no.
better needs, with no. I think it needs tweaking. I think the game runs better with no VAR. Yeah, I think it needs tweaking if they use it, but if they I, don't, I, I prefer think, that. I think. I, I think they they're need, gonna ruin they need VAR. I think it needs VAR because I think it's. The yeah, refs, uh, Here's the other thing, yeah. <laughs> Making more and more VAR in, bad decisions. Does yep. it not put talk shows like this at? No, not necessarily. Well, what are you talk about? Everything was done right. Everything was done well. Yeah, you've well, got nothing to no, speak about. No, because there's still going to be controversy because they're not going to... VAR is going to get it The only controversy is going to be that VAR was wrong, weren't it? Yeah. Yeah. Did you see it on some well, radio when they foul, switched to the wrong channel when I was foul, watching the not Arsenal game? Not every corner. <laughs> not, VAR <laughs> is only for two real things. Every goal scored and... Was it a penalty? Every penalty that's, that's it. That's, that's it. what VAR should be used for. No, and major decisions. Right, like, no, I don't like think so. I think yeah, like the elbow that Ronaldo was involved in. What do you mean? Well, Ronaldo oh, elbowed someone Cup. off yeah. the ball, didn't yeah, yeah, yeah. he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he did. All right, we'll go back to when... But that should have decided... Let's say we had the referees missed years, that. It's yeah? not a penalty. It's not... Hold on, I can't get both of you at the same time. Sorry, no. Oh, that's what she said. I was, going, I was going to say, right, say we had this technology for years, right? Say it's been around for centuries. And you now go back to the classic one. Everyone's going to go, oh, fuck off. But Diego Aradona, the hand of God. Oh, if we had VAR back then. The difference in history I would if love you had VAR back then. Yeah. Frank yeah. Lampard go, I would have cried for it. <laughs> yeah. We still yeah. would have lost that game. Football is already, personally, in my opinion, <laughs> football is already the perfect mix of just right and just enough wrong. Mm. Everyone I can agree. have a debate. Even even a stupid person can come over and go, you see that football the other night? Soon you're going to need a fucking degree to talk mm. about it. No, I don't <laughs> think so. They need to make it just for them two decisions. They need to make the referee say, right, any players that come up to me and ask him for VAR, get a yellow card. You ask again. Any player that off. approaches the ref for anything should yep. get a yellow card yep. anyway. I agree. Other than ref, I really only. am going to shit myself or whatever. Yeah, it should be only the captain speaking to him and yeah. them two decisions. That's well, it. I can see the this VAR. going on for a long time. So I'm going to put a halt to it, because we've got half hour left and we need to squeeze in the big question. One time we're not arguing, he stops us talking. I've got to, because it's boring for the show. <laughs> <laughs> if you're well, agreeing... Well, I don't think he is. Let's argue about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. Can I start the next bit then? Because I've got like five bits of paper here. Oh, wait, hold on. I've been waiting to use. There is one request. Oh. I sort of missed the sandboard. Ooh. Can we bring it back next oh, week? God. Can we bring it back but next week? But only a couple of them. Yeah. Sandball comes back next oh. week. Let's have a vote on it. Yeah. Yeah? But not random. <laughs> yeah, not random last Some week. Some of them last week were a bit random. <laughs> <laughs> a bit too random. <laughs> random yeah, ones are good. Charlie gone. Alright, so we've lost Charlie, but we're going to. Is any power oh, worth? Right. Oh, don't know. I was gonna just. You oh, want to introduce we have a it? Fucking winner! <laughs> <laughs> right. Is any power um, worth more than their price tag? Is what we're really talking. Can about. I talk for quite a bit quickly? Yeah, and then I'm gonna come in with. Because I did and... some. Anybody mentioned right, Pogba? I did some I'm research. Ready. I did some research, and I've got two very points. I've got. I looked up on Twitter. I've got, and I've quoted it as. Sensible Twitter excerpt and then idiot on Twitter, right? So there's two different views. Oh, what? But I won't give out their names because they don't know I've stolen them, right? But first, <laughs> I've got 18, 18 most expensive players in football, right? As of whenever this article was written. Yeah. And I added in, it was 17, but I added in one, is it? No, it is 17, sorry. I added in one. Yeah. So it was, yeah. Right, anyway. So, the most expensive, according to my thing that I've got, now this tells whether it's wrong, is Neymar. This is all in euros, 222 yep. million. Yep, Neymar is the right. one. And, and yet Mbappe. you're looking at Cristiano Ronaldo, who is probably one of the best players in the world. 
one of the yep. two best players in the world, who was only a hundred million euros to Juventus, right? Yep. But yet, I would rate Ronaldo ahead of Neymar. You can discuss that in a minute, right? Okay. But then, other than that, players who are worth over a hundred million, according to these figures. Yep. Who do you think rates number one in this list? If you was to choose Messi. someone. And these Messi. players that haven't transferred but could be worth a hundred million. At their current club. Uh, Messi. Euros. One. And I want you to give me a player and a price. Messi. Uh, 150 million. If, hold on. If we get it wrong, can then we have a clue to whether they're European or English? Yeah. Well, I'm going to say Mbappe. And uh, say it's stupid like 300 mil. Right, well, where's Charlie? Has he run off? Sorry, I'm, no, I'm back now. Sorry, what are we on? Okay, right. I've got a list of players worth over 100 million euros, yeah? Yep. It's 25 players. Who do you think is number one and how much? <sighs> I will I say, Michael, Mbappe. your one isn't even in the list. Isn't he? Shit. No. Nah. But he's the second Who's most expensive one? player ever. No, but this Who's is what they it? reckon. This is what no. this group of people reckon these oh, well. players are worth. Oh, oh no, sorry. No, he is. My that. bad. He is in the list. I've just found him. Who was in the list? Who was it? Mbappé. He chose went Mbappé. For Mbappé for 300 million. Paul chose Messi. I chose Messi for 150 million. Where are you going with Charlie? Uh, who else is there really? You've got Messi, Ronaldo, and Bappe. Uh, no one's chosen Ronaldo. They've had two people. You just said three players. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm thinking. Is a West Ham yeah, but Ronaldo went for Ronaldo, Ronaldo went for 100 million to Juve, so he's, yeah. he's not the most expensive player. No, not most expensive. I'm gonna have net, net worth. If I was to sell it in net today's worth. market, what, yeah, from where they are currently, oh, what are they worth now? Who would go for the most money? Messi. You Messi as well, yeah. Does any of us get close? Well, I say all, all three of you are wrong. Right? How much did you say, Mike? Three hundred mil. You're well off. What higher? You're no? over. You're oh, right. you're well off higher. Paul, what did you say amount? I said 150 mil for Messi. Well, what do you say, Charlie? Um, I'm pretty sure Man City put in a bid in for Messi at 210 mil. Uh, right, can we, you are all wrong. Can we have a clue to the league that he plays in? I'll give you a clue. Right? Cristiano Ronaldo, who you would expect to be massively worthy of a, a decent sell, bearing yeah. in mind he's only just been sold. He's 24th in the list of 25. No. Can we have a clue to the, the league they play in? Uh, Premier League. Yeah. Uh, Premier League. Well, Sanchez. No. What price? Oh. Uh, 160. <laughs> Anyone else? Oh, I'm going to go with Eden Hazard. Here's your fruitcake. Welcome, mate. We're talking about is any player worth their price value in today's modern market? Eden Hazard, Eden 200 Hazard. mil. Okay. What about you? Charlie, sorry. Uh, <laughs> fucking hell. After this, I'm going to give you the top five. Can we play a bit of guess who it is? is? Is it a Man City player? We're not doing clues, you've had a clue. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so he's, he's obviously League. in the Premiership, bro. Yeah. How is it? Uh, it's yeah. I have no idea. Okay, I couldn't think right. of anyone worth that much. Number five. Oh, well, no, we'll start with the top six. Number six is Deli Alley. For right. 171 million euros. Oh, yeah. Fuck off. Mohamed Salah, Liverpool, 171.3 million euros. Lionel Messi, 
is number four. 184.2. Killian yeah. uh, we Mbappe. Yeah. 186.5 in third place. Um, Neymar is in second. 195.7. Yeah. Number one, which I think is disgusting in net worth, is Harry Kane. Yeah. No. 201.2 million euros. Uh, golden boot, mate. No. Nah. They reckon. <laughs> Who? Sorry? That's, that's a joke. Golden boot, isn't it? It's worth a lot of money. <laughs> because of his performance yeah, the and boot the is, way he not. scored, yeah. his, his, his price has skyrocketed. Yeah, if you look at. Who said Eden Hazard? Yeah, I did. Carl. Cool. It's number 17 with 124.7 million. Bullshit. Yeah, such a better player. <coughs> Pogba. Salah's a better player. 144.9 yeah. million euros. Right, but then the other thing I want to say is I'm going to go with, I'm going back to Cristiano Ronaldo, yeah? Yeah. Before I do my yeah. other two points. They reckon he gets 17.5 million after tax a year. Right. Yeah, is that right. through sponsorship so, and everything? Yeah. Through everything. That's, that's, not, that's not his wages. That's yeah, I know that. All yeah. of his, yeah. Yeah. Do you think right. that anyone should even earn that much? And then secondly, right, like my points with this that I found was, if you looking at it from a sensible point of view, Football players deserve their money because they work their hardest for it. People who don't understand this are not that, are not that smart. If you worked your butt off and didn't get paid, yeah, how Mike. would you feel about that? Yeah, sorry, mate. Your time is limited, and if you got, if you get paid millions of dollars, I bet you would say different. My chat. <laughs> and then, the other way is footballers kick balls around the field and every week can afford a terrorist house. Firemen have 48 hour shifts. Go into areas of distress and trauma, save lives while putting their lives at risk, and face emotional exhaustion. They can barely afford to pay the 25-year mortgage on their terraced house um, and feed their family of four. And then look at paramedics. They go out and find people in a terrible state, sometimes on the brink of death. And the same goes for soldiers and any other... Uh, what's that say there? Basically any other um, service. Neither of their wages come anywhere close to the wages of a footballer. Do you think this is fair? Of course they're not. not really. There you go. So there's a lot of points no. to discuss. <laughs> hey, I'm going to just change my batteries over on my controller. Hang on. What? That, that was the social equivalent of running away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Obviously none of that is fair. Right? Yeah. They should all earn a lot more money. But from a business point of view... Is a doctor going to make you as much money as a football player? Or any sports player? If it weren't for a doctor, a lot of footballers wouldn't be around. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, right. Exactly. I'm not arguing the fact that you're right in that last statement. I'm just saying... No, no, I'm just saying everyone's, view, everyone's got their own I've, opinion on it. I've, I've got a question. So well, why, why do they make get you any money? 17 million in a bonus for a year? Do they, uh, do why they do, sorry? That? Bankers. Oh, don't get me started on bankers. That's, that's, that's so bankers. Sure, surely that's the same I thing don't as think, football then. I think every banker <clears> in the world should be held for some kind of criminal charge. Because they're all fucking filth. Yeah. Get it, get it, get it. So, no, I don't think it's fair, but if they want to put in the hard work, if they want to go to Nike and say, I'm going to promote your product, how much do you want to pay me? But a doctor spends their, most of their life studying. Yes. And right. a footballer and a trains, and so do doctors, playing so do soldiers. Their, from their four, from the, a, football starts, a footballer will start playing football from when they are about four years old. And if they but train they hard fun, and they then. become the best player in the... They, it's their job. Not when they're so four they years old, I mean. well, No, that's from fun. But then they can... They, they then become better at it, and then they get picked up. And then they oh, yeah. I mean, train every job. day. They have to learn the skill. Exactly. So, I can, I, yeah, I think it's unfair the amount they get paid for wages from their club. But if they want sponsorship deals and they go to companies and say, I want to promote your product, how much are you going to. That's fair enough. 
Sorry, Charlie. That's them going out of their own sort of that's, that's, that's them okay. doing their own thing. That's not the club. Jim Diesel so, was joining the chat you, about whether we were, players are worth that much. He's been waiting. Do you think there should be. Do you think there should be some kind of cap or something on it? Like, because look at the price I, now. I, I, I mean, it's killing small football clubs. You don't get away with that when you're a goalkeeper. I think uh, that there should be a wage cap. What about... <laughs> yeah, you say it's killing small clubs. It is in areas, like ticket sales and stuff like that. But when a big club's going in for a youth player from a, a small club, they're never going to hit that sort of money at any point. Sometimes it can work out with a fog for a small club, but they also yeah. can't sign a big name player ever. Oh, yeah, of course they can't. No. Yeah, you're right there. Which is wrong, because when you go back to when we were younger, I know that's quite a way back, but you look at when the highest transfer in the world was like a million pounds, people lost their shit over that. Like, there was, there was arguments, there, there was teams threatening to leave the leagues, it was crazy. Yeah. And now we're throwing 222 million euros to people and staying coming big the ball, mate. What? Yeah, we, and we're going to pay for them. Can I... Can I pitch in and argue the fact of why players are worth so much? If you want. Yeah. Obviously, I'm going to talk about Pogba. Cause oh, we got someone to rage quit, Mike. I know. Smashed it, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> Should we go against each other now? Yeah. Right. Pogba. When he joined United yeah. in 2016... Up until 2015, uh, shirt sales at 1.75 million. He joined us in 2016, our shirt sales ro rose to 2.8 million. This year they're expected to hit 3.7 million. We get 10% of every shirt sold. Yeah, but the thing is as well, with the shirts, no, how can shirt, a football mate. club... Sorry, <laughs> no, this, this is not me. How can a football club charge £50 pounds for a football shirt? To their fans. Disgusting. That's because we're making up the transfer fees. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. We're saying 50 quid, yeah? Have you seen the cost yeah. of the new Man United shirt? No. Uh, 59 pound. <laughs> you can buy it for 59 pound. There's a certain yeah, shirt. Yeah, there's a cap on football shirts. Yeah, fuck no. it. 90 it's something pound? Yeah. That, that, that is, that is fucking shocking. Some people. Yeah, that's disgusting. That, that is a club robbing their fans. Well, Arsenal can, I, can I get back to where I was People going? don't have to go out and buy yeah, sorry, mate. That was clever. No, nice. but children want it, and a children's kit is almost as much, and it's fucking... That the is terrible. children's shirt is 40 pound. I've researched it all. What's yeah, their full kit? It's 90 quid, isn't it? No, a full children's kit is 69 pound. Right, do you know a child that earns 69 pound? I don't know an adult that earns it, especially not doing my job. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, know. That's two days' work I've got to do to buy that kit. Exactly. You don't that's, that's have to go out and buy it. Yeah, but, right. yeah, but Carl's right. You're never forced to buy it. That shirt for Christmas. Yeah. You are sort of forced to buy it. Kids don't. Um, kids yeah. don't understand the value of money. Yeah. Teach them. It's like. It's like my little boy. I said him I'd get my West Ham shirt, but I haven't been able to afford it. And every yeah. week since then, have I got my West Ham shirt yet? No, mate. I've had to let you down again. No, it'll come. It'll come, mate. Just tell me it's in the post. It's in the post, mate. Right, uh. So, anyway, you know what? Get 10%. Yeah. I think you just steal it. They're not going to notice. West Ham. Right. Anyway, oh, fucking... Before we start slagging <laughs> off each other's teams, ten percent of every sale goes to United. Right, so, you know. so that's no, because I want to get through my page. I listen to your two. Let me get through mine. Right, so ten percent goes of every sale goes to United, which is six quid. To have Pogba put right. on the back of your shirt costs thirteen pound, and that all goes to United. What? Fuck hell. <laughs> I'm going to get questions on get a printing on the back. A print costs so £13. Much pound. Just... United earn £20 from every shirt sold. With Pogba on the back. Which costs 
new 80 quid. Castro. And he's not able to dwell on the ball for very long here. Yeah, yeah we were at the same time. You yeah, told yeah. us to shut up while you went through your paperwork. Well, yeah, cause you, yeah, but you keep coming out. You and Cole keep going, what? What? Because <laughs> yeah, we have to... We can't, disgusting. If you're talking to someone and they don't go, hmm, ah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you think they're not listening to you? I don't know if that's the start of a sentence or not. <laughs> well, anyway, so we're expected just to sell... I'm just I'm listening. All right, we're expected to sell 3.7 million shirts this year and get 10% of them. They're not all going to be Pogba, obviously. Some, right, so 0. 0.7 are going to be Pogba. Probably a bit more. Right, so Pogba, when he joined us, cost 89 million. We have to pay him 65 million over five years. But we also own 80% of Pogba's image rights, which is expected to give us back, I had a number somewhere, 28 million. So, so far, <laughs> Uh, yeah, but you've paid all that money for Pogba. They don't. They, you don't have. They, obviously, the clubs don't pay all that money in one lump sum. No. It gets paid over a duration. Uh, signing Pogba means more shirt sales, as I've shown you. It means more tickets sold. It means we now have more members in our United club than we've ever Holy had before. Shit. Well, but that's another story. That's not market wise. So yeah, but you're looking at this from a business. You don't own the Man United. You're a fan. Not, What's your? Yeah, but I'm explaining. You're giving me the figures of what the club earns. Yeah, you're right. I am just a fan. No, shut up. But, We've already gone through this. But for this, for this bit of talk, I'm explaining why a player could be worth a hundred million. Otherwise, we'll all be going. It's fucking bullshit. Someone's got to be on the wrong side, and I'm willing to be on that side. Shaheed. Right, so it means more players to games, it means more sales of drinks and burgers, it means a packed out crowd every week, which United get. You know, you, United are the highest earning club in the world. Since we signed Pogba. You're a fucking balaclava, not a red shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. a fucking striped jumper, the bag has got a swag written on it. And hold on, I'm nearly finished. 90 quid for a Charles kit. So at the moment, United are a hundred million pound down. Could be a chance here. Got the ball. Right. So how worth the money? I've not, I've not finished. I've got one more fucking oh, bone what? in the bag. You ready? Up the sleeve. Here it comes. Barcelona want to pay 140 million for Pogba. That takes three years off his contract. That saves us 40 million pound. But they're not buying. No, uh, as, yeah, they, but they there's will. no thing saying they're not going to buy him yet. So if we get 140 million, now suddenly we've gone uh, 60 million up. So is that good business? Does that player then become... No, no, no. Well, no, because we wouldn't pay the rest of his contract. Yeah. So then that make it good business? And is that player but you're now currently worth that 100 money? million down, though. If you're yes, already 100 moment. million down. If they keep yes. him. If they keep him for these five years. Use the right. We are down. But in the yeah in no, the but case that's of... what I mean. I'm confused over the number because you said you're 100 million down, yeah? Is that yeah. at the end of his contract or oh, now? Hold on. No, we've got well, fruit cakes. Says there should be a price cap yeah. on all players. Well done, fruit cake. There should be. You're right. He is no, no, right. I love you, buddy. But I'm rounding the point. Oh, though. I weren't right. Well, that, I, that say, that I any, did say any he was top right. Like club can afford any player. But what I was saying was that's it. That's how it should be. In the in the value is, is a player worth a hundred million pound, and if Pogba sells to Barcelona for hundred and forty, it proves that he is. Yeah, but Fruitcake's just completely lost the answer to my question. He's for the far post here. Is Pogba is the hundred million that you are down now or at the end of his contract? Now, uh, be at the end of his contract. Now. So, you, how much are you down now? Eighty. Uh, well, if you minus, he gets thirty million pound a year, right? So if you minus, he's got three years to run. So we're about seventy million down, as of now. Oh, right, okay. But now, now that all makes sense. The numbers didn't make sense before, but all right, yeah. Sorry, I, I thought it was like well. now. But then you take the ten percent of shirt sales and plus the 
extortionate price for charging to have his name on there. And Charles kit. And that's going to sell you one million shirts, that is. So that's 20 million. So that's another. So we're 50 million pound down as, as, of the sale. Next time he's on the phone and going, I love the children. I'm going to ring up and say, no, you don't. Right, so then we're 50 million pound down. Then you said, take into right his image rights. We own 80% of. So over two years, that gives you 14 million pound. So we are only technically 37 million pound down. As of this point. Oh, fuck that guy. So now if someone if we said him, to me as a businessman, buy this player, in two years you'll be only £37 million down, I would have to say, hang on a minute, John, have you done this <laughs> job? <laughs> have you done this mess for it? Yeah, you're right. But then if Barcelona are going to come in with a £140 million bid, which they're talking about, you're now £100 million pound up. <laughs> yeah, but at the time, Barcelona's not an option. No, not only on that time when he's come to you and said right. buy this player because you don't know how he's going to fare, you don't know if he's ever going to be worth anything. But regardless, he's no player in the world is worth over ten million to me. What? Yeah, because to a fan's if point was, of view. If that was capped, everything would be fudging cheaper. Which True, meant, okay. if you get a chance, mate, yeah, the follow button and follow everyone in meant, the co-stream. Which means families. And the one's not co-streaming. Why are you not co-streaming? I I'm not streaming. streaming. Still not downloaded. Oh yeah. Um, there you go. He's done one. You still ain't done me though. For so, so families that are on the breadline can afford to like, like Chad was saying, can afford to get their kids what they want and can afford to go and take their families to game like it used to be. Do you not think? Yeah. Club there was. There was even and there would be club loyalty again, if from players. No. Um, there was the thing of past years. Thank you, fruitcake, mate. It worked. Legend. There was doing every Monday. You have to let me know if I get one, because I ain't got a club. Right. Um, you could go to watch the Bundesliga games, including tickets, flights, and accommodation, for less than it would be go see Man United play another top 16. Well, we're playing for Pogba, leave it out, yeah? One not on, yeah. There's a, there's a few not on, if you could get to them at so, any point. So you, so you know there's something Check out Alpha Mega. It's fucking... Do you want me to drop late. a comment? Yeah, if you drop a comment, um, everyone drops a comment, and make it easier for him. Uh, save him some time. Uh, for uh, if you click on their name and just press follow it, it'll do it all for you. Or someone could type that hammer spank for me because I've literally got nothing near me for the stream. Someone could type, someone could type my name. He's already so done your thing, Chad. Oh, thank you for the follow, Kojia. That's alright, I'll catch um, you, mate. So, yeah, there's, there is something drastically wrong with this, this football league, this business, if you can afford to go abroad and watch a team play with food, drink, accommodation. It's going well yeah. the home players and their supporters. And the away players find I actually them. know a fan of one team. Covered them well, I, one. I think there should be a cap on players. Someone... I agree. I'm going to thank you early, Fruitcake. So thank you. Yeah, I'll put all your names in there. Cheers, buddy. If he gets round to it, he will do it. Fruitcake won't let us down. Join our team if you like, just for being generous. A chance to break away now on the counter. But, sir. Uh... Well, no one else has signed <laughs> anyone up other than me. I just recruited anyone. I'm the only one doing anything. With the evidence <laughs> that I've put forward, can I sway? Can I sway anyone to five hundred million? No. Nope. If other, if other clubs are going to be willing to pay the, so you buy a player at the peak of his career for a hundred million, say, and then if you if you don't get on with the manager or something like that, and you sell him within a year of after his 
done for, say, 120 million, then yeah, they could be. But, Let's do it another way. You've got... That's a business side of it. But as a football fan, no, I don't think they should be. Well, I'm, I'm going to give you the two options. Well, suddenly they could be on the Go on. You are... You're all parents, yeah? Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, well, most of you are parents. Right. You've got £100 million pounds in your hand, right? Yep. Cash, cash money, 100 million. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the magic 100 million. You've just been handed 100 million pounds, right? Now, if someone says to you, drugs. you're going to manage my football club, <laughs> but you're not going to get paid, right? You're not going to get paid. But with that 100 million, you can now go and buy your team, the world's best player, or behind door number two, is this small girl saying, please, sir, no. I haven't eaten for five days. My parents have gone and left me. Is she behind the door? What are you first? Doing? Is she behind the door? Okay. Is, is the girl the anything door? to do with So me? if I don't ever open this the door... Minute, the minute that money goes in your hand, it becomes it's your it's life and death responsibility. It's yeah, but if I don't ever open no, the door... No, it's not Trojan's cat, because he's also told you... Don't know the girl He's also told you that if you buy that player... Yeah. Yeah. Then the get the, the whoever is behind that door dies. Yeah, but I don't well, know. That's him pretty simple one, isn't it? Yeah, but you've you've now become. Yeah, but what's a, up? What's up to number three? three? No, what's up to number no, three? There's no option, sir. Yeah, well, but I listen. Buy the player, personally. What if? Well, I'm not being I can funny. redeem myself. Yeah, if I buy the player and that person behind the door dies, right? Hear me out. But next year he comes to me again and says, oh, we've sold him, we've made this much, now you can save two. I'll say, all right, well, I did the other one last time. So, like, because... I'll take Dorby this time. Could have become, she could have become the answer to you. That girl could have had the cure for cancer in her brain. Yeah, we would have like, operated sooner dead. if I had bought the player then. No, 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 not me. She's got the ability <laughs> to learn the cure when she gets older. But you've killed her out, you're out of... That whole Everyone has the that ability you would to be learn. willing to play it. Can't just place that. Everyone has. No, but they have the options. We're trying to find ways around it. There is no ways, no ways around it. No. They have the options. There is the girl. Or if that girl would spend a big million on a player. Yeah. Anyway. Well, if, in that if option, that girl was my responsibility, then yeah. it's obviously I'm not going to pay someone stupid amounts of money yeah, or save someone's girl, life. Yeah, but hang on, hang on, wait, wait, wait. Let's rephrase that. You don't know it's the young girl behind the door. You just know there is something that you will find out afterwards behind that door that is going to die. So once right, you've made yeah. that decision, that door opens anyway. Well, right, if yeah. it's a giant spider, then I've made the wrong decision. Yeah, but you, yeah, but you don't know that. That's what right, I mean. Yeah, you just know there is something that's going to die. Be a giant spider. Right, in that decision, in that one you've given me, <laughs> then... Yeah, um, the choice would be to choose a little girl, but that's not the decision I'm given as a board. Yeah, now it's not a little girl. Now it's just something behind that door. Yeah, fuck it, it's hundred million in my pocket. Could no, be anything. You spend it on a player. You're not keeping the. Yeah, but no, 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 so you know that's what I'm saying. You don't. You're not told just behind the door, right? The door's going to open anyway, and it still is the little girl. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Right. So you're in that. Find out. In that moment, the the answer is obviously the little girl. You feed the little girl and save her life, right? But when yeah. I'm a board member, I'm not given that option. I'm just, we want this player, buy this player. Yeah, that's point. And they're going to come to me with their book, one note, one, one A3 bit of paper, and say, look, we've done the math. He's going to sell this many shirts. We'll get 80% of his image rights, and we're going to sell him to Barcelona in a couple of years. Uh, to be honest, no. if someone just magically gives me a hundred million, I'd disappear to a country with no extradition laws and make sure my family is gone. That's it. I think the question of is a player worth a hundred million, definitely, because you no. can definitely make that money back. Yeah. yeah then you're saying a human, any kind of human, is worth a hundred million. Yeah, if he's got something to offer, like, that's going to bring my priceless. club more money, then yeah. Every person's worth. It, it's priceless, like. Uh, well, not every so you're person. Saying you're saying there's a price. You can't say ISIS. 
I can't say ice is a, a, a worth something. Yeah, but if you're saying that a human being can be, then they have the ability to be as well. Yeah, well, oh, whatever I'm, your I'm, certain I'm, skill is in that profession, you have a price. And if that price is 100 million, and I can see a way of making more money off that 100 million, I'm going to pay that 100 million for that player or that set of skills. Whatever way you want to phrase it. Yeah, but as a footballer, do their set of skills really make a difference? No. Well, some do, or Ronaldo. Well, it's open. No, you broke up then, bro. I said he's opened his own restaurants and hotels now. That's... I know he does a lot for charity, and a lot of football. And that's special. He do a lot for charity. But in his time at Real Madrid. I don't know anything about that. With what he'd done at Real Madrid, with what he'd done in the Champions League, what he'd done in La Liga. Wonderful scenes of joy here. Uh, yes, but has he made a difference to people's lives? Hold on, we're just going to pause right. it there quick. We've got a comment from Craig. KG, even. I'm reading it wrong. 100,000 a match, 10,000 if injured, and then move on to the next club after two years. <laughs> I'm not sure no, I, I think that's a lot of work. I think that's a contract offer. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. I like that. That's quite a. Is that a good plan? Or is that that's still that too much? Is 100 grand a week too much? No, I don't think so. Yeah, no one needs that much money. What do you mean? You could solve humanity's crisis by making. There's enough money in the world for every person to be a millionaire. World poverty would go. Everything would go. This yeah, but you've got governments that are greedy, so it's never going to happen. So there's no point in talking about that. Yeah, but we're not government. We are part of. We are. We are by agreeing to it part of the problem. Yeah, five million. We're not agreeing to it. We're not agreeing to it. We just can't do anything about it. Uh. So I think 100,000 is quite reasonable. Right. And taking a, a business. Footballer, top flight professional footballer, 10,000 if they're injured because they can still eat. Right. Taking a... And Go on, regards to them only staying there for two years, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that one. I think they, if they want to stay at the club, if they think, no, I want to stay at the club, then... Yeah, but it's, uh, what you're saying is it's a way to keep the Premier League fair. If you say you've got two years at this club and then you need to find another one. Yeah, Any club so he, uh, he's talking speak. sort of like a semi-draft thing, like the, yeah. the American football. It's the American football that they, they have to move on some of their players to like, like the, the teams yeah. to do. improve their teams. Yeah, uh, yeah, I see what he means, but... Some players don't want to leave their club. But taking away what I put in the business that, point of view, would that not stop the youth saying, aspect of it? What Nigel's saying is right. No way a nurse should be on whatever it was, I've forgotten the amount, 20 grand a year, where the football player earns 13 million. No, I agree. Yeah. It's far too much money. Let's say, right, that you're, say you're that world-famous footballer that is earning 17 million a year, right? Yep. You're laying in the hospital bed and there's a nurse that you know full well that whole building is going home to their family and they are probably having beans on toast because they cannot afford to physically live on the breadline. And yet you're sitting there in a hospital bed being treated and cared for by these but people. Nurses are not on the breadline. I'm just saying, like, there's some families, like a nurse, could have about seven kids for all we know, and she could be living on the line. Her husband might not be working, but it's not, <laughs> yeah, but it's not the case. No, no. Could, no, I agree. There's a situation somewhere in the world where a nurse is living on the bread line. Yeah. yeah. And that nurse is bound to, at some point, in whether it's that nurse or a distant relative, it's, what is it? Is it the six degrees of separation? I reckon you are six degrees of separation from everyone in the world at some point. If that's true, why are they £17 million apart a year? 
because that's what clubs are willing to pay for, and that's what but they don't. big corporations like Nike and Adidas and and oh yeah, I forgot to mention all of the big brands. Adidas also pay United Want seventy pay five million them. pound a year for. Do you know how much it costs to make a pair of trainers? It, it, that Cristiano it, yeah. Ronaldo advertises for like a hundred and forty quid to his probably, fans. Probably pennies. One pound fifty. Yeah. Because of a but sweatshop. That man. company has to pay the people that make them. They have to pay for the materials. They have to pay for the shipping. They have to pay for the staff. That so they're not seeing all of that money. No, but. I'm talking about sweatshops and stuff like that. That's where most of these are being made. If we're honest about Look, it. Yeah. yeah, and it's all becoming part of culture because people like this are earning that kind of money. That stuff. Um, I don't think footballers are part of the problem for world poverty. I don't I think, think, I think anyone who I don't earns think a ridiculous amount of money... Yeah, because the corporations are involved in all of these things. It's certainly a massive greed factor. I, I don't... I, yeah, and I don't think they're part of the problem with the poverty in the, the whole world. Every company in the world is part of the problem. No, it's, it's not. It's governments. Yeah, and which they're not part people of the have normally got shares in these companies? Government officials. Yeah, because they pay too much. They've, they've, they've... No, I'm not. I'm not going into politics because it's fucking but you guys boring. work for British Heart Foundation. You should f up. It's not what? a conspiracy theory. It's true. I'm not yeah, sure. They all pay too much. Yeah, I'm not, not disagreeing with you, mate. But I don't want to talk about it because it's depressing. But it's part of the show now. Well, we're, talking it's not. Football we're talking about football. Yeah, and I'm talking footballers. No. <laughs> and I think a footballer, a footballer can be worth more than a hundred million pounds. In value, yeah. No. In value, yeah, definitely to the club. But as a signing on fee or selling a player, no, I don't think they should be. So. All the corporate deals, all of the, the, the sponsorships, the shirt sales, all of that. Yeah, the players worth more than 100 million. But, yeah. oh, let's look I don't it's think another way. they're worth we 100 about million in a transfer fee. Not being able to afford a shirt for your child earlier. We'd, mm -hmm. We haven't touched on it, but tickets are quite high. How many can't really afford a ticket to go to a game of it? Right, so if you don't, if we now say everybody's worth 10 million, don't all them prices rise? Because the greed is still a factor. There's still a greedy board member wanting that money. No, they would have to but, drop because they're going to have to drop eventually anyway because fans are not going to be paying the money. They will. There, may, there may, definitely fan. needs to be more fans put in line to hold it. There needs to be more restrictions and stuff. Like, look what they've done in China now. If you buy a player for a certain amount, you have to pay that much in tax. Now, that's fucking a brilliant yeah. idea. Yeah. Oh, it's a £26 million pound player, only worth 13 now. Yeah. yeah, but that's the thing. If they did that here, it would cut the fee. And then, again, smaller clubs would strive more. But they ain't got the money to keep up with them still, would they? Because they can't afford to pay the tax that's well, added on. I think... That if they went, if they put a cap on players, the youth side of it would improve. Yeah, I think yeah. that the, the youth side of exactly. national football. It, exactly. <laughs> I, I agree with you. There's only there's only an upside to lowering the, putting on a cap and that. But in the question of, of are they worth that money? Definitely. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no. They are. They are. They're not worth that money. Yeah, but you're never. You're never that. This never going to change my opinion. My opinion is my opinion. Like yours is yours. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's I'm never going to change yours. It's never going to change. It'd be a boring opinion. talk if I, we were the same opinion. Yeah, I personally don't think I could ever imagine me and saying, no. "Yeah, he's worth that money." I'm not trying he to sway anyone's be, opinion. I'm just trying to present facts. Yeah. 
uh, might support be my opinion. They might be bringing money into the club and all that. Club. Yes, so they are, but they're not worth the hundred. Yeah, I'm not million, saying they're worth. They can earn, the, saying, earn the club a hundred million. Yeah, I'm just saying that they should maybe look at changing it all because yeah, I think it's got to a point now. And there's no camera. <laughs> I didn't want to come to this I argument think, with the fact of me going, he's worth 100 million and talking shit. I wanted to bring some facts that prove why yeah. I have the opinion. Right, the same you did, Nigel. You had your two studies that proved why no player should yeah. be worth that much. Right, I didn't want to turn up saying he's worth 100 million, we play for United, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a very good conversation. Actually, while, I was, while I was doing that research, <laughs> there was a lot on the internet about how many Man United fans were pissed off at the price for Paul Pogba. It's fucking, it was surprising. Yeah, uh, we are, because like, considering we look at we let forums and things like that, it's and like no time, one wanted him. The amount of players we could have bought in with that money that would have done our squad better. Yeah, we're... We don't just say it's great because it's United. I was just explaining the point of business. <laughs> but <laughs> me coming here with no facts is so, effectively me sitting here going every time you talk going, Pogba! Pogba! Okay. <laughs> Pogba! <laughs> <laughs> so, Barcelona have said if you want to talk to Lionel Messi about signing him, you have to pay us 100 million. And that's Not before. Pay. Yeah, the bid has to be above just to that talk line. to him. Then, yeah, you don't have to yeah, it's the really. same as Arsenal. That's not his transfer fee. That's not his transfer fee. That's and ask him if he wants yeah, to sign. Yeah, but you don't have to pay the money. You have to put in a bid worth of that over that amount of money. Yeah, just to talk to him. Just to, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we have to put in a bid of forty million and one pound to talk to Suarez. So we did, and then we got ripped apart. Yeah. It's there to because managers tap players up all the time. That happens everywhere. Yeah. Klopp's a big man for doing it. He does it a lot. Well, look at how West Ham got Hernandez. Yeah, that's what happens with football. The village that. is all over him. Mm. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Uh, yeah. Was that the Christmas party? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just turned up dressed as another Leverkusen player who just stood there. And there. Hernandez. <laughs> <laughs> Come to West Ham. Is that the fuck West Ham? Come to West Ham. <laughs> and, and yeah, we, 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 we kind of red. <laughs> yeah. Up for grabs here. So do we have a divided vote up? anyway? I said, I said that was probably a waste of money. I don't think he was worth oh. the money that we paid for him. I don't, we, think I, we're, uh, I don't think we're here no, talking think... about the conversation. I just want to see where we were at the moment. Um, <laughs> at the moment, I think it's you just don't win. two against yes, two, isn't it? Uh, Cole's always on the fence. So we need a, a more solid thing. From the so, are we are we talking about this from right. a pan, like, just to clarify now, are we talking about it from a fan's point of view or a business point of view? Uh, well, I, I, no, I, in your I'd opinion. never run a business that would have that kind of money, so I couldn't give an opinion for the business. <laughs> so, as a fan's point of view, no, that money, no, it, it, it's ridiculous. That point of view from oh being God. part of humanity is still in the hope. You couldn't hear that shooting, I've just done it. No, it's not football, mate. But, uh, as, a, as a business sorry, point of view... <laughs> did, did we all get followed, by the way? No one said yet. Uh, I did, and whoever was in the coast oh, did. He said he was going to pick his up. He's still in the chat. He's still getting involved. What side are you on, KG? Are you on they are worth it, or are you against it? He's not coming up in the chat, man. You need a... What about you, Jim? You've uh, kept very I, quiet. I think a player is worth... I was in the top 10 to a club. Oh, probably right. But I don't think... Sorry. You left your volume up. <laughs> Sitting there with your balls. Who is it that was... <laughs> 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 
I don't position. think they're worth and he's not close. He never looked up 100 million in a signing fee, like a, a transfer right. fee. I'm going to pass over to Jim for two minutes. Someone that don't really follow football, what would you say? Right, I'm just going to jump on the chat at the minute. There is nothing in the chat, we've been talking. What do you think <laughs> for the last 10 minutes? There is something in the chat, I'll just drive in. Drop me and follow your fruity mother. Um, okay, one second. Nothing that's going to get you timed out, Jim. It's an auto. Alright. So, we're talking about the 100 grand a player. 100 million. The player's worth 100 million pound. I take it you're that's, that's not money. <laughs> yeah, but, so from a business point of view, as you're saying, yes, I agree. Obviously, the more money that you can get into a club, the better. The easiest way you can do is obviously through okay. buying a decent player, getting the name on your top, a bit of bash bosh, real good enough sort of thing. But for a different side, I always end no, up sexual. I think it's a little bit <laughs> of a joke to spend that much money when you can put it towards something else like the military. Something that's actually worthwhile. Well, bigger all of their camps. Go fuck yourself, <laughs> <laughs> See, you said holiday camps. I automatically went to Nazis. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, I'm not <laughs> <Nazis. laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm not Yeah. Mm. Right, so um, yeah, no, um, I agree with Jim. It's like if if a company can afford to spend a hundred million on a player, there should be some form of stipulation yeah. that it goes to like public health services, like armed forces. Yeah, that player should, should be a service. <laughs> no, no, a percentage. <laughs> whatever they spend on a player, a percentage should go to. It doesn't. Well, it's whoever they choose, but it should go to some form of. Like, it's not public sector, because I speak fucking to anyone. Research. But you know what, yeah, yeah well, should I, uh, you know what I mean? Should I wind you up with a fact I learnt from the Sanchez transfer today? Well, he was in the right place at the moment. Well, he, oh, he should have kept him at Arsenal. Well, he, was, he was free well, because of the Mkhitaryan deal. But does anybody know what his uh, signing bonus was? Well, it was probably a good couple of million. Uh, yeah, a couple plus a few more couples. Hang on, yes. I'm going to say uh, seven and a half. Five million. How much, Cole? 25. Anyone else? Seven and a half. I'm going to say 65. 65 right. now. I'll tell you his wages as well, because this will upset you. More. He's on 350 grand a week. <laughs> He and he's on he got 20 million pounds to sign for Man United a waste of money yeah but he didn't get all of that he's get you any money 25% of that went mil went to his agent no his agent got paid separate he got 10 million but, but that's, well, that's, that's why cost, Fruity Cakes got Man the 36 United 30 the agent million paid for that. just to sign one player and he was free, and the Mkhitaryan. Yeah, How much is he worth? Mm -hmm. What? Wait, oh, you have had to pay Mkhitaryan. Yeah. Arsenal's had to pay Mkhitaryan. I'll put a £30 million price tag on him. Wow. But, the, but Mkhitaryan's got a signing on V, so they've had to pay Mkhitaryan to sign. Yeah, club, but you can guarantee it won't drop. I'd say a few mil. Yeah, nothing like Sanchez's though. No, definitely not. But I'd still say it's a couple of mil, a few mil, plus his agent's fees. Fruitcake, we're here every Monday, wages. mate. If you've got any questions for next week and you want to come in a party and ask us some questions, have a chat, just let us know and we'll get you in. Join the Discord. There's a, a public general area. There's also a Let's Talk Football area, which is voice. Yep, they've done it with Tevez as well. Come out here to put on a 
the show and we're enjoying it everybody except the opposition is enjoying this it's not often when you no one no one no one really agreed with me that a certain percentage should go to oh, yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you look at it on the other side it, if you had to donate any of your money that you won would you I do every single fucking month National insurance. Yeah, we, pay, we all pay healthcare. I'm sure they do as well. Yeah. They just don't see it as well. I pay, I pay national wealth. I pay oh, the club does, they, football club does it. Private. Well, well, talk to join the queue, mate. No, I'm just checking out my points I've got. Yeah, so if, next week, if you're up for fruitcake, come into the chat. Type talk to join the queue and we'll get you in a party. And you can so fire some what questions are at us. The games next week. I haven't had a look, to be honest. I didn't think any can of you use me. Can I? <laughs> can I be left <laughs> The full subject next time, because I didn't have a clue about this VAR stuff. I only found out today. That's because I'd only decided after watching the games. But there was no game today. Yesterday. I did. Yeah, that's a full 24 hours. You bastards. Yeah, but I'll be. VAR's not an hard discussion, is it? You know what VAR is? No, but I would still like to have some facts. I gave you them all. Uh, okay. So there's no Friday night game this week. The 12.30 kickoff is Cardiff Newcastle. Dirty goal. Dirty. Oh, mate. Fucking beautiful, mate. Everton, Southampton right at 3 o'clock, Leicester Wolves, Tottenham Fulham, West Ham, Bournemouth, Chelsea, Arsenal. Nothing for a new drumming. Oh, Fucking yeah. Chelsea, oh. Arsenal. Yeah. What, che oh, Arsenal? Chelsea, Arsenal? Oh, Chelsea, Arsenal. Oh, I was talking about the Burnley Friday. West Ham one. Oh. Bournemouth West Ham. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, I don't want to play fucking Chelsea. Hey, no, just think, you get yours out in the first couple of weeks, you could have a fucking wicked yeah. run. You won't ever have to worry. I'll see that to get killed for him once, it didn't work out like that. Chelsea We need to decide on a topic as well while we're away for next week. Anything anybody wants to discuss in depth. I'm trying to open up right now. <laughs> I've got one. What? The effect of um, club loyalty on our national game. Okay. Right. Well, for us are a bit stupid like me. Uh, how do I... <laughs> what's, the, what's the talk of it? You know like where you've got... Remember back when you had the... Um, West Ham players wouldn't associate with Liverpool players and then they wouldn't associate with Chelsea players. Yeah. The old oh, right, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. on our national yeah. team. Right, yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Uh, Fruitcake's got a couple of suggestions as well. He's got, yeah. should there be an Xmas break? Which I think we're going to cover closer to Xmas. Depends. Has he followed us all yet? Uh, I don't know. That's not part of the criteria. And he has to follow me to get involved. <laughs> I'm sure he would. I'm sure he'd look after you all. Uh, should there be a home national cup? As in, not a home one. In <laughs> Wales. <laughs> yeah, a great well, like cup. We have a national team. It's England. No, a national cup. No, as in <laughs> cup. No. Uh, Wales and all so, that. In, yeah, Wales, Scotland, Ireland, Northern Ireland. And... If you want to, would win that every time. If you want to bring in questions to us, join the chat next week, and then you're more than welcome to come in and we'll discuss them. Well, obviously, I've we'll cover the Xmas break. We we'll cover at Christmas, obviously. Is it Wait, in the ideal time? Are we having the winter break this season? Yeah, so yeah. We'll discuss this it. Is what we're getting closer to the winter. Oh, I have, I have a topic. Oh. But, well, who's choosing the topics, by the way? Um, you chose the topic. Who's to 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 taking the first Harry Kane's parents. Why? Oh, well, we're only having one. <laughs> <laughs> right, should we take two then? Should we take Club Loyalty? 
Yeah. And Terry Kane's and, parents. And the National Cup. Because I'd rather save the Xmas break for Xmas. Closer to Christmas, yeah. yeah. Is that all yeah. right? Everybody agreed? Yeah. 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 Harry Kane's parents. Oh, yeah, uh, sorry. Uh, the loyalty of towards the national team clubs and all that that he was talking about. Yeah. And having a home national cup, as in England, Wales, Scotland, Ireland, Northern Ireland. I think that would be the quickest conversation we'd ever have. No, I'll find a way to vary. Yeah. Just let me know what side I'm on. Are, don't worry. You off, Charlie? I'll be the one that I'll stand, mate. Yeah. Alright, mate. Do you think any of them nationalities are even in the same league as England? I think that's that's a good point. Yes. It's never even debatable. I do. Really? Yep. He's probably the trial that I think so. Oh, Where are they doing the World Cup? Okay. Right, I'll quick one for you. What if <laughs> it's not so much as a national cup, but a national under twenty one cup? Like the Olympics, That's where good, you yeah. can have two players over the age of 23 and the rest must be. I reckon one of that debate should be about questions we're going to debate about. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Because we, we, we could, picked yeah. your question. Right, you should be happy and let's we... pick another one. <laughs> yeah. I'm right with that. I feel very repressed in this group lately. Either one of them. Yeah. I'm happy with either one of them. I think part of the group. You just pick, you'd like to pick the wrong side against me. It's my side. <laughs> well, to be fair, there's two of us, so there has to be two sides. So. <laughs> I'm like William Wallace. You'd never attack my freedom. Well, it's so very bad, it. William Wallace. <laughs> just <Norwich>? your accent. <laughs> Remember the look yeah? up. Home National Cup. Any ideas for or against? And club loyalty. Okay. And national Can we WhatsApp me then? <laughs> yeah, yeah what, can you tell what I read mail, please? Yep. I'd like a can we have like a WhatsApp panel and special guest? And I don't mean to be a pain or nothing, but can we try and watch more than one game this weekend? Yes. Yeah. Can I just watch match of the day? Yes. Yeah, match of the day's fine. Right. Just as long as you're aware, I'm not going to watch any, but I'm still going to pick up and argue. <laughs> you won't be invited if you don't watch any. It's oh, only for people no, that watch we do a minimum go. of four games on match of the day. How many are on match of the day? It's a fucking game, isn't it? No, it's not. If you before, watch just Saturday's before. one, you get about seven. Yeah. If before I can't we do it, go. I get through four well fast, don't they? I yeah. do have one present think... question. Go on, mate. Jim, why don't you answer your fucking text? <laughs> yeah. just, I don't bro, know what this bro, has got to do with the chat. What? what? I've got the same fucking question to you. My phone's off at the moment. Right. Well, 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 okay. well, then. Thank you very much for tuning in, mate. Well, I, I, still ain't got Jim I still ain't got Jim Bob, sir. From 8.30 to 10.30. Did you text Thank me? you very much, Chaz, for yeah, the game yesterday. play. Thank you, Hammer. Welcome. For the lively <laughs> discussions. <laughs> Thank you, Frisbee. <laughs> Thank you, Jim, for weighing in at the end. That's, That's all for the stream. Make sure you check out Jim Diesel's streaming pub, please. I'm not streaming. Well, don't check him out. Either way. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> what the fuck is that noise? It's the soundboard of it, isn't it? Andrew, fruit cake, mate. I was playing him out. No, no one could do it. <laughs> right, fruit cake, <laughs> thank you again, mate. Thank you, Amos Bank. Thank you, Frisbee. Thank yeah. you. That's right. And thank you, Chaz, for the gameplay shall, and shall the play you delightful out now? conversation. No, you, I want to be played out with St. Bell. And when I say the creator, the genius, the, the one. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> he was <would> saying. <laughs> he's talking about.